Transition live. We are now live. Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome Hello. back to Story Squires. Oh, Poseworth has said, Huzzah, Squire. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Um, and good evening, Claire Cat. I think that's, oh, Castellum. Yeah, that's you, Claire. <laughs> everyone, that's still. Hello, everyone. It is good to see you all. Say hi, drop your stuff in the chat. And yeah, we are the Story Squires. Oh, bits. Yay. 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 Awesome. Bear, do you mm -hmm. want to handle the intro and the what happened last cool. night? Uh, I'll introduce players first. Uh, I'm Bear and I'll be the GM this evening. Uh, but I'll start from left to right on my Zoom call. So, Claire, Hi, who I'm are Claire. you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Claire. I'm a play Zephni Tapatenda. Here is a rogue. Human rogue? Well, half of a halfling icon. rogue. Halfling, cool. Uh, Amy. I am Amy, and I play Allie, and she is a human noble fighter. Cool. Jess. I'm Jess, and I am playing Amber Stonecutter, and she is a dwarven cleric. Oh, and thank Ooh, you, thank Super you. Suit Guy, for your two month subscription. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, that sound plays in my ears on my ears alone. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I have to stop saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, Marie. Sorry, your name there, is I different. Thought, on... I, I thought you might have forgotten my name. Uh, oh, yes. Your name is different on Zoom. So. <laughs> it is. It is. Yeah. And I will probably never get around to changing it because it's just too entertaining. <laughs> um, I, hi, I am Anne-Marie, and I'm playing Kalima Malazmir in an elven wizard. Awesome. Awesome. Ooh, more bits. Yep. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Cool. Uh, and last time, you managed to infiltrate Cragmore Castle, defeat all the, uh, the leaders of Cragmore Castle, uh, bef before going... Covering more than half the <laughs> castle. Yeah. Do uh, everything you've... completely backwards. Yeah. We definitely you freed know. the wolf yeah. that was fighting, that was the uh, leader's uh, thing. Uh, what to call them? The, the wolf from the leader's, the wolf's pet. The leader's pet? The leader's pet. The leader's pet, yeah. Uh, and let him loose. Uh, and you also freed an owlbear, Yay, which, yeah. uh, according to the yeah. thing, you found very fluffy, and because of the fluffiness, managed to fit through very tiny doors. Yep. <laughs> and you also found there's lots of curtains in this place for some reason. There are <laughs> lots of curtains. Lots of yes. curtains. They didn't right. seem to want to replace any of the doors. They just stuck up curtains. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to do a dramatic entrance at some point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or we could do that thing where, the, you, where you set an explosion and then you walk away without looking back. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I yeah. like it. We could do that with all four of us, arm in arm. Yes. In slow mo. <laughs> in slow mo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How to display this, that on Roll20. Out. This just screams out the fan art, doesn't it, really? <laughs> it's going to be a bit hard to make like, happen here on the screen. But yeah, if anyone wants to draw that, feel free. <laughs> Please do, yeah. Please do, yeah. <laughs> uh, I cannot draw, so I do not volunteer. So. Don't ask me to either. Anyway. Well, <laughs> on that note... Um, do you want to go straight into what we're doing? We had a short rest at the end. Did we? I believe. I think so. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. I don't know that we actually. We were discussing. We were discussing having a. I didn't think we needed to. How people? How are people's healths and stuff? I've got twenty-two um, out of twenty-eight. That's an yeah, I'm at seventeen of twenty-six. Uh, I've got twenty-one of twenty-one. So yeah. Yeah, I know um, I have second wind, so I'm not wind. overly concerned. No, okay. Cool. Well, I think we should probably just carry on then. Um, that said, I don't know how many spell slots I've got. Uh, Short rest wouldn't on. recover spell slots. No. Oh. Well, fine then. I've still got... <laughs> the answer is not one. many. 
And I've I'm got level two one. level one and nothing else. Okay. So you might need to save those for something big, but I've still got a lot of spells. So I could actually cast something. And technically, we already killed all the big things, didn't we? Yeah. Mm. Do you want me to mm. cast a cure wounds on you, eh, Ali? Sure. Because I've got four, all four level one spell slots left. So okay. That would be yeah. A, let's let's, let's, do, let's that. do that. Um, let me just check what that does. One d eight plus your spell casting ability modifier plus I'm disciple of life, so I get a bit more. So I get one d eight plus three plus a bunch of other stuff. Let me just quickly find it. Disciple of Life, where is it? It's two per level you have. It's two plus plus the spells level. So it's another three. So I get one D eight plus six. Let's roll that nicely. Mm -hmm. I oh, did I ten. So you have gained ten hit points. Alright, and I am back to full. Yay! Yay. Nice. Uh, I'll just have to work hard in destroying you guys. <laughs> yeah. Good, Good luck. luck. <laughs> yeah. um, so you know, we're I now just going to like critically fail all our attacks, <laughs> right? And it's going to be really because... dumb stuff like climb checks too. Yeah, because we because we just had that cocky moment, and the universe is going to punish us for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoops! I just have to survive long enough to reconsecrate the altar, and then yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that was the objective, wasn't it? To reconcentrate yeah. the other. It's yep. my objective anyway. Which of course came oh. after everybody else's objectives, but that's fine. That's absolutely <laughs> fine. Well, it only came that. after my objective because we happened to walk in the right way to find Gundren first. <laughs> um, I just I, my life was under threat. So, <laughs> you know. The foundation of my religion has been defiled. I'm just terribly sorry that my the reason for my continued faith in the world and the universe is not important enough to anyone else. So we can put it out now, shall we? Fine. <laughs> Absolutely oh. fine. Oh. And there may be books. There may be books. And there may some be books. books. Well, yeah, because we're here now. There better be some books. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, really? Well, no, I want to go through people. some more curtains. <laughs> uh, if, we go, All right, if, you fly, if you climb over this pile of rubble here yeah. then there's yeah. a curtain and the rest of us can take the doors and meet you on the other side yeah. <laughs> trying to navigate that looks like a great way to break my ankle so i'm just gonna go through the doors go like through. Oh. Person. <laughs> now we know well, now we know that he's on to us it is gonna look for any opportunity i do not have good decks mm. okay I, awesome. I, I wasn't going to make you roll decks at all <laughs> <laughs> right. Liar! Okay. Liar! I'm gonna go this way. Oh, yeah, some days they will move. Then... <laughs> Have we been through this door before? Uh, you can door. see the other side. Yeah, no, I think, I think I think I think we, we peeked through, through the oh, curtain I think we up looked here. through from that curtain. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. I don't think we've been through that door. So is that door open or is that door closed? That door is closed. All right, I'm probably going to have a listen just in case we've attracted more people. That's but, probably you know, a good idea. Yeah. For several so. battles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not that I have any idea if that was a good roll or not. Uh, oh, no, not really. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, oh, well done, Amy. Bally. Uh, oh, sorry. I've just realized Jess and Claire, I have the wrong one there. Uh, so Amber, uh, you, Amber and Zephni hear nothing. Uh, Kalima, it's almost certain she doesn't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> and Ali definitely knows she doesn't hear anything. <laughs> All right. Awesome. There's definitely nothing over there, everyone. Right. In that case, I will open the door and wander through. Do, 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 do. I'm glad oh, everyone. Look at that! So many people. curtains. Another curtain. <laughs> Excitement. I, I I will kind of motion for Ali to to be you know quite happily let you go first with the curtain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Or do we want to go through the door first? No, I don't know. So there's door a door curtain. to your west. Uh, door to the west and a curtain, curtain which you south. peek through to the north and a curtain to the south. Um, well. I'm assuming kind of because of the rubble. Can you see round that curtain? 
Uh, or is the rubble quite high? If it's high enough to climb yeah. over so that we can't just walk through it, I'm guessing it's not high enough. It's too yeah. high to really see. Uh, yeah. Especially for the shorter people of the party, you probably yeah. couldn't see through. Okay. <laughs> Basically, you're telling me. So I'm sorry, short ass. Short ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wasn't going to explicitly say that. <laughs> That's because you don't swear, but me and I agree. And you're the GM. You're yeah. supposed to be nice and hey, polite. Hey, like no, like racism against halflings here. Please. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Had enough of this my entire life. Yeah. But you know what? If we now. found, if we ever found some books, I would have been able to re-educate myself on the niceties of civilized living. <laughs> Okay, great. Let's find some more books then. <laughs> it's an education. emergency! Civilize the wizard! <laughs> <laughs> cool. So are we going I'm through going... the door or peeking behind the curtain? Well, if we go south first, that sort of loops us back more toward where we're going rather than having to backtrack, potentially. Yeah. Yeah. So I would vote for going through the curtain. From here, I don't curtain. think there is And... Mm-hmm. Okay, go on then. You can go through the curtain first. All right, yeah, knock yourself okay. out. I'm going through the curtain. You've I'm gone through the, the curtain. curtain. I will follow. So uh, so far so good. Directly in front of you, a goblin appears. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, great. <laughs> great. <laughs> All right. He, he he wasn't he did hear you, but he wasn't expecting you to go through the curtain. Uh, <laughs> great. But he does see you and see you on screen. Um, <laughs> scream. <laughs> Yeah. Quick, kill him! <laughs> Quick. Can, I, can I attack him? You may, if you like. Uh, I would like to take with a With disadvantage. Okay. Because it's... Um, 16. That, that hits. <laughs> yes! <laughs> All right. Oh, and nice. 13 nice. damage. And uh, you don't quite oh. manage to stop him from screaming. But he is a deceased goblin. So you like cut the scream off halfway with a quick stab yeah. to the like, oh, <laughs> epic. <laughs> nice. <Yeah>. Nicely <laughs> done, Ali. <laughs> All right. So I'm just opening the right page on this thing. Because you didn't expect us to do that quite so quickly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just I was looking up what you possibly might go after this. Okay. So cool. That goblin fingers. is. Please get this way. This way. <laughs> <laughs> I won't give you the experience qu- now because I'll leave it. Because more till... are going to come because that one screamed. Essentially, yeah. Likely, right? <laughs> okay. Well, I will continue forward. I was going to say don't because this is a bottleneck, about, and I'm pretty sure there's an opening of a passageway. So or something I could stand right here, there. you could stand where you were, and we can literally just find them one by one. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I'm not going to move in that's the room. That's a good point. And 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 we can. Well, you don't. You two can just stand behind us. I'll just. I'm I'll just straddle the from here. there. <laughs> but and shoot from a distance. Do you reckon any would come from like the other directions? The other well, direction. That's a good point. That is a good point. What, like from I here? Think, I think we're yeah. about to find out either yeah. way, to be quite honest. Which <laughs> Look at those I've doors. I've myself into this very yeah. neat little niche between a wall and a pile of rubble. Um, <laughs> it, it seems like the um, yeah the good thing to do right now. So I'm going to prepare to attack. Yeah. Whatever comes. Whatever comes okay. in. Okay, as you... Um, uh, I'm on the wrong tool. As you have been uh, waiting, two goblins come through and say, Fred, what happened? And they see their friend dead and... Uh, I was going to point see... to Ali and say, she happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And I believe it's now time to roll for initiative. Yay! All right. <laughs> Let me remove all turns. Select my token. Press the button. Oof. Well, I was super on the ball before and not so much right now. <laughs> uh, Do I not get to attack because I readied an attack to wait in waiting? Uh, you're about to. I just thought I'd roll initiative first. Oh, okay. Awesome. Uh, don't look at how many I'm clicking on, please. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
I am suddenly really happy that you healed me. Yeah. <laughs> you won't need those spells. That would be a really fine. good idea. <laughs> no. <laughs> or at least he killed the first one right away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can oh, make, form a bit of a raid block. <laughs> cool. A pile of corpses to stop the advance of the other enemies. Yeah. Yeah. So is everyone initi initiative? To initiative? Initiated. Yeah. Initiated, yeah. thank you. Cool. Therefore... Well, I get to watch everything happen from the safety of my little niche before I have to think, that's good. We might need your oh. shield thing, though. <laughs> yeah, and physical attacks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A Amber has readied an attack, so... Um... I'm going to smack it with my Warhammer, because that seems like fun. I'm going to see if I can do what Ali did. Yeah! Smush that. Uh, <laughs> might even use my inspiration. Yes. That was a good idea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hello, Kate. Hi, Karen. Hi. Uh, yes, I did use my inspiration. 22, 22 hits. Awesome. And you have used up your inspiration. I have used up my inspiration. I'll take it off my character in a moment. Um, sadly, I only do five damage. Oh. Five. Yeah. Definitely leaves. You chop one of his arms off. Of, oh, I assume this. I, it's a warhammer. Warhammer. Yeah. I shatter an arm. She shattered an arm. He's like limping. His arm is just flopping around at the moment. Oh. Um, some more meat for the wolves. <laughs> We've run out of wolves. Yeah, we can find some more. We seem to be finding them everywhere. Or <laughs> <laughs> they find us. If we create, if we create oh, yes. a meat pile of corpses here, we'll know where to find wolf meat. That's true. <laughs> uh, so, because they've come through the door, I'll also reveal a bit more of the area here, but not much. That's very wow, so, so insightful. <laughs> I know. I can see a really, really, really long way down that corridor, clearly. <laughs> you can see an outline of another goblin. Yeah. Or, or some yeah. characters. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so we're in initiative order now. Yeah. Zephni, what will you do from way behind the curtain? <laughs> um. I want to shoot with my short bow, so I'm assuming I'm going to need to move forward. Probably you will need to move, need to move the curtain. Yeah. I'll stand in the way of the curtain. Past the curtain. I close my eyes. Shoot <laughs> <laughs> back the curtain. <laughs> and then open them again so you can see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 24 hits. Nice. 24 does hit. Can I cast a little prestigitation to make a pretty shower of sparks as she as she fires her arrow just to carry on the theme of the you know the Technicolor dream coat? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, okay, I will allow that. Which has the added plus of lighting things up and every, and I go. Woo! <laughs> I just need to remember how to roll. Right, in that case, I really need to make a bunch of glow sticks, don't I? Of different colors. Yeah. <laughs> Once this is over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Six damage. Six. I also have which sneak one are you? She can only see one of them. The nearest one, yeah. Uh, that is the arrow goes through his uh, shattered arm and into his body, and he is a deceased goblin. Yay! Yay! I'm gonna air high five <laughs> Stephanie for finishing off the one I started with. <laughs> I also have a sneak attack, but I don't know if I can use that on another. No, that would have been used Possibly. at the same time. Okay. So that yeah. would have just added to that damage. Cool. I'm just going to remove these from the board to make it just... I, I take bit... it from the celebrations that these goblins are dying. This is excellent. They have defiled yep. the altar of Ogma. They absolutely deserve it. Yep. Cool. Plus, they imprisoned uh... my cousin, so I'm quite happy to just send a bunch of these to the graves. Who was actually a reasonably well-read person, so yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is the speed? 30 feet. One, two, three. So this guy uh -oh. goes one, two, three, four, five, six, and goes for to attack Amber. Mm -hmm. Of course he does. With a scimitar. Oh. Uh, yes, my size. Where I'm trying to be a pirate. 
<laughs> 19 to hit. Yes, that does hit. It does. Three damage, which is the okay. minimum it can do. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think I can handle oh. that. <laughs> yeah. It is but a scratch. <laughs> then you hear from the other room, attack! Don't let them spoil my food. Food? Ooh, <laughs> food. <There's> food. <laughs> is it good food, though? Are they eating near the books? I don't know. They're eating. <laughs> or they were about yeah. to eat. We've interrupted dinner. How rude of us. Uh, they they <laughs> are pity. quite they disturbed. Disturbed. <laughs> I know. All the defiling <laughs> swine. Mm -hmm. Uh, Amber. You're really cut up about this altar defilingness, aren't you? <laughs> Would you like me to no, kill another one of them for you? I don't, I don't know what gave you that idea. Yes, <laughs> get on it. Absolutely. <laughs> Burn in the mirror. Uh, right. Um, oh, it'll be so funny if I cast Zone of Truth. I, I'm not going to, but at some point I need to. Um, yep. um, are any of these bonus actions? No, action. Actions. Action. I haven't got anything that's a bonus action. <laughs> Our healing word is a bonus action. Right. Um, in that case, I am hmm. I'm gonna cast spiritual weapon again. Oh yes. And make a great big warhammer appear. Um I'm gonna make it appear here. Cool. So I do need to get a token for that. Um Yeah, you need like a warhammer. Symbol. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to make it hit that one. Um, just let me work out how to do that again. So uh, it's a, a melee spell attack. So that is yeah. D20 plus five. Can I do D20 like plus one? five. If you click on the on your character, fifteen. Fifteen nice. is just enough to pass. By the armor and the shields and hit him. Yeah. You the spiritual weapon just like managed to go through the shield and the armor. Awesome. It does ten damage. With ten, the spiritual weapon, it's your shooting this front one, right? No, the back one. I've made it appear right at the back. Oh yeah, that one. That one. Uh, that's another dead goblin. Yay! 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 It you slices I I'd through. Finish another one off for you. <laughs> I, he I hear the cheers and go, Alter defiling scum! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I of think... course you can't even see. No. <laughs> I think you need susperation for that. What, me? Yeah. <laughs> Kalima. Oh, Kalima, okay. <laughs> awesome. And then I'm going to use my actual weapon to attack the other one. <laughs> oh, I only get nine yeah. that time, though. Uh, with a nine is not enough. We are trying to find the shrine, but we've been ambushed by goblins. Mm -hmm. So we are finally trying to quickly. find the shrine. Mm -hmm. shrine uh... As you attack this other one, uh, he had just turned to see his mate being cut by a spiritual weapon, and his shield happened to block you by mistake. <laughs> Great. <laughs> awesome. Well, I killed one. <laughs> Good. Uh, one, two, three. This goblin will go... One, two, three, four, five, six. And he's going to oh, pull wait. out a short bow. I can still see a token of a hidden one. Uh, yeah, I know. It's <laughs> one more. <laughs> uh, he's going to shoot at. Uh, he doesn't know which one has been killing these off, so he's just going to shoot at one of you. One of the three that are there, and that will be Zephni. No! Oh. Oh. The short bow one is going for the person with the short bow. That's kind of fitting. <laughs> does 13 hit? No, that doesn't hurt. Yay. He Yay. shoots over the top uh, and it hits the curtain, and you, it's almost as if the curtain stopped it from moving. You call that <laughs> shooting an arrow? He shoots. <laughs> he doesn't score. Uh. Next goblin, this guy, he runs up to here because that's as far as he can run. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> next goblin. We've got quite a queue of goblins. Yeah, it's going to be a bit here. 
Oh, and Zephni. I think the LBs have basically just gave you Sasperation. Hey, thank <laughs> they you. said sassy. I'm taking that to me as Sasperation at this point. <laughs> okay, I'm going to add a vegan. <laughs> Cool. I feel like it should be a different colour than the yellow, but it's going to... Ali. Um, there's goblin in front of you, or two. Yeah, yeah, there is. <laughs> <laughs> we're uh, oh. we're going to go for the one directly in front of me to the south there. And I'm going to take a swing with my great axe. Ooh! Oh, nice. Natural 20. <laughs> We, we need an animation for that, and for Dude. one. All right, so... <laughs> it's double uh, the dice damage. So roll as ma- twice roll as many dice. dice. Twice okay. the amount of times, yeah. So that's 10 and 2 plus 3, which is okay. more than enough to completely annihilate 50. this guy. Good. It's quite literally more than twice his health points. <laughs> He just basically explodes. <laughs> I feel like some bone fragments should go and explode and injure the one standing next to yeah, him with that. Yeah. Totally. Like, he should at least get covered in his arm. remains of his yeah. of a shrine device. He should get disadvantage there. on the next attack because he's been splattered with blood in the face and can't see properly. <laughs> he goes, no, Fred the second. Because <laughs> I couldn't think of a different name. <laughs> As long as they're uh, not related to Droop, it's like okay. yeah, as long as none of them are Droop, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or Droop the second. But he might be Droop. Maybe Froop. 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 Maybe Froop. 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 evil goblins. Kalima, you're at the back and you just right. you are hearing shouts of destruction going on behind the curtain. Right, okay. I'm gonna come this side of the curtain. I think I need to while staying as far away from, except I can't really see anyone else now, so I'm going to have to go over here. I'm just going to remove a few. See things. Uh, Right, let's see. What can I do? Ooh, acid arrows. Except, no, I don't think I don't think I have the the (sighs) stuff. Might have to do a cam trip. Well, I don't think I can get... Well, what would that do, though? Not much. You've got the ice... The ray of frost. Ray of frost, that's the one. Freeze ray. Um, Freeze ray. (laughs) I'm also thinking... uh, Well, actually, no, I think uh, maybe I should save my spell slots. Yes. Because clearly there's a number of goblins involved here. You could do cantrips. Um, Yeah, I think... um, Well, I was thinking of the magic missile, you see. But I think it's going to... Oops, didn't mean to do that. Ray of frost... Is that your? It yeah. flies over uh, and hits just above the frame of the door, uh, oh, no. above the goblin, and so That's he. That's pretty pathetic, wasn't it? Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's yeah. right. I did it deliberately because you all seem to be doing so well. You just let us carry on and handle them for you. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you you had a battle in the last place where you just basically said one word, and everything was sorted. So. And yeah. that was a lot of fun. True. I'm just going to kind of go back out of the way over here. You can't get hit there unless they pull out a short bow, in which case, uh, if you're this side of the curtain, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so I'm just going to move out oh, of you the way. Are you okay? You're going to to give, And then Zephany has a clear field of fire. Okay. <laughs> and, you know, if, if an arrow should by any chance go the wrong way, I would hate to be incapacitated and not be able to re-consecrate the shrine, which is the only reason why I'm here. So I could heal you. <laughs> If you're still alive. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> I'm not even close to dead. <laughs> I'm I'm taking a practical approach to the matter. Okay. All right. Uh, Amber pretends uh, to not even be slightly offended. <laughs> uh Zephni. All right. Am I close enough to get um the goblin that's well? You there. can uh, shoots that guy, yeah. The LBs have said, are there any rocks nearby that could be used as impromptu bowling balls for these helpfully lined up goblins? <laughs> <laughs> this is a really good idea. <laughs> Let's go bowling! <laughs> I, I think the LBs definitely have inspiration. <laughs> yeah, the LBs definitely have I was just going to say, can we, can we give people inspiration? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to use my short bay and 
I was going to say inspiration, but I forgot to say it. Before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're thinking so much about uh, if you're going to be, you're, you're thinking about what your next inspiration will be that you are so, become distracted and the arrow hits and the guy shouts back, I could, you, you missed two. <laughs> is it the same one? <laughs> it is still the same one. It's the same one, great. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny uh, cool so is that one uh, you hear again it's like, what's going on there uh, they've... do I need to leave my food to come and deal with these guys myself I'm just going to go yes <laughs> uh, fine he, he goes who are you and why are you interrupting my meal? Because you're oh, interrupting so just, our castle search. So he's just jumped over all the other goblins, has he? He's yes, he has. Dodged past them. Yeah. Because he's oh, slightly man. bigger and slightly stronger than the other ones. Of course he, he is. But he is wearing a chef's hat. Uh, <laughs> slightly bigger target. Aim for the hat. I'm going to aim for the hat. <laughs> aim below the hat. <laughs> <laughs> not below the belt interesting <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah uh he's like uh he yeg who is his name he hasn't introduced himself he's going to attack with his wooden spoon which it happens to be the same attack as scimitar but really uh, yeah because <laughs> i've decided that <laughs> oh my god <laughs> He also reacts with a wooden spoon. <laughs> uh, uh, Ali, uh, the irony is deep hit. and abiding. <laughs> yes, it does. It just hits. Yeah, the tree is smacking you with a wooden spoon. <laughs> That's kind uh, of you're never going to live that does, one down. Yeah. Uh, what's four plus two? Six. Six damage. What? <laughs> the wooden spoon. <laughs> yes, on this. <laughs> it's probably been honed over many years of been boiling and stirring things yeah. in, you know, in big cauldrons of boiling water and yeah. oil. So yeah. it's, it's a really it's, hard it's kind of transcended its original spoonness by now. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh -oh. The Elbies have said, oh no, hungry goblin. It is clearly hungry <laughs> <laughs> goblin. <laughs> Kate has said, Zara approves this choice of weapon. <laughs> <laughs> That is our sweet uh, lady from, from the other Monday stream. Yeah. No. It's not a battle spoon, is it? <laughs> not a battle spoon. No. <laughs> Maybe what's on the spoon that's doing the damage. It's kind of in, it's, it, it's not a battle spoon in the same way that technically a frying pan isn't a battle frying pan, but you know, it, they take frying it pans. Who knew? Yeah, exactly. Amber, you've got a very angry me. cook Sorry. in front of you. I am so smacking the cook with my warhammer. Um, I'm going to use the spiritual one first, though. I want to get the short bow, yeah. attack the short bow short one bow with the guy. spiritual one. And then I will. Oh, that's a bad roll. Mm. That is quite bad. Uh, <sighs> it's The spiritual weapon almost seems to slip off the uh, gore from the previous attack because yeah. he's still covered in that gore from earlier. Yeah. All right. So I will try and hit the chef with my warhammer. So if that works either. I'm clearly distracted by Ali being hit with a wooden spoon. It is very Indeed. distracting. <laughs> it is enough to dishevel the chef's hat. Awesome. But... I've crumpled his hat. <laughs> yeah, take that. Take that hat. Uh... This goblin who has disadvantage and was doing short bow is still going to go for Zephni right at the other end because he now is on in competition uh, to see if he can he shoot. He gets to hit first. Yeah. <laughs> He's got disadvantage. Of not yep. hitting. Yeah. Oh. Uh, he lifts up, aims really carefully, and as he lose, loses it, it slips slightly on the uh, gore in his fingers. On the gore on his fingers and goes into the curtain. Because he did roll a 19 and then a 7. So <laughs> he well, is no longer disadvantage. disadvantage. Okay. The goblin from behind, from the next goblin, suddenly appears up here. Oh. <laughs> 
Uh, he's going to. Kaleem is the only one there. Just on that side. Go right to. Uh, Zephni is in between the curtains. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so odds that would be Kalima. Yeah, of course it would be. <sighs> the LBs have said, "Aren't chefs known for being quite stressed? Do Kalima or Amber know calm emotions by any chance?" I don't know if I know calm emotions. Uh, That's a good question. No, I do know emotions. command. And a command and zone of truth are the only things like that that I know. And I have to admit, I'm not inclined to be very calming towards these things. I mean, this is one of the awful, horrible creatures that defiled the sanct the shrine of my goddess. Mm. I'm going to stare down at it, and I'm assuming it's shorter than me. And if it's not, I'm just going to throw my head back and look at it like this. Like, you know, <laughs> however, however far um, I have to do to look down at it. And he near with the full sneeringness of my elven heritage. He looks up at essentially your nostrils and goes, <laughs> uh, 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 and is, he swings his scimitar, but he's almost too scared to hit you, so he swings wide. Because <laughs> I think a thirteen does not hit you. Now you've got your extra um, armor with the glass. It off. does not. No, it does not. <laughs> All hail the power of the true believer's sneer. Uh, this... I did the wrong way around. Oh, well. um, this goblin is full, just like, almost disappears up here. Mm, uh, nice. I'm going to come around the back as well. <laughs> it is quite a long distance. The other one took up two full turns to get to the... Yeah. Cool. Ali, you've got the chef in front of you with a crumpled hat. <laughs> Who hit you yeah. with a wooden spoon? Uh, I think I'm going to uh, use a little inspiration here and go after the chef. that guy with my great axe. <laughs> nice. 18 oh, you need it. most definitely hits him. <laughs> and 12. <laughs> With one slice, you cut through the spoon, cut through his chef's apron, through his hat, and all the way down. He nice. is nice. he is an ex chef. <laughs> With an ex food. Look who just joined the menu. Oh. <laughs> you got aspiration nice. for that. Aspiration. <laughs> oh. I approve. I think even the gem needs to give you inspiration for that. <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> uh, that was your turn. Uh, Kalimo, you've got, uh, you're looking down on a goblin. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm going to use my big magic sword because the thing's right here and it seems like probably the best way forward um, unless the staff is nah. no I think right okay I'm going to use the sword and I'm going to whack him with my sword oops oh. no, wrong button sorry right let's oh blimey hang on a minute it's all gone a bit Pete Tong right here we go <laughs> right um, sword 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 with inspiration, I didn't need it. And it didn't even matter, because look at that! Oh. I need to practice more with my sword, Clearly. because I swung it and cut a very impressive chip out of the stone wall next to me. Yep. Yeah, I think it's because you were looking down, trying to... I'm trying too hard to look down the end of the nose at it. <laughs> it turns out it's very hard to swing a sword accurately while also maintaining a really powerful sneer. Yep. Who knew? This is how we learn. Whoopsie-daisy. Uh, Zephni, there's a goblin behind you. Yeah. And there's another one trying to shoot at me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll go for one right next to me. Considering the other guy isn't doing very well with his short bay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use inspiration <laughs> this time. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay. Nice. 18. 18 so. definitely hits. And I can use my sneak attack as well. Yes. yes I just need to work out what's Kaleem is. It's, I can't remember what the short it's bow is. It's one or two D6, I think, at this point. Mm -hmm. Plus, I think mm -hmm. short bow is a D6 as well. Yeah. yeah. And well, uh, one D. 
because my character sheet keeps disappearing after all of the screens. <laughs> <laughs> Talk among yourselves for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe the uh, sneak attack is another 2d6. Oh, yeah. I just realized something. When I yeah. swung my magic sword, mm-hmm. I had a plus one bonus to attack rolls. Yeah, it, it's already oh. included it. Oh, has it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh well. <laughs> yeah, because you get plus five to your roll. So right. oh, that well. plus five okay. already includes that plus one. Right. Mm. Damn it. Okay. It was worth Sorry. it. Right. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Mm. All right. Well, oh, you're yelling at the other guy. This is how it's done. I hit with 14 <laughs> damage. That's sweet. Uh, and Excellent. with. You almost pull the arrow out and just stab him <laughs> and put it back. <laughs> so you don't even lose the arrow. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. uh, and he is another ex uh, goblin. I have to admit, Zephany, I like your style. Yeah, <laughs> I do. Uh, you only did that much damage. Yeah, I think I put it back on. <laughs> I only did that much damage because you had this friend next to you, so or an enemy of the enemy in front next to him. So uh, technically, yeah. my helped. Uh, I was going to say, you take <laughs> credit for that. <laughs> <laughs> I think the snare did a lot of damage, like yeah. psychological damage, and distracted them. So oh, yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah. yeah. What is more powerful, the snare or the sword? <laughs> In this case, the snare, apparently, I think. <laughs> Amber. Yes. I'm going to use the weapon you. again yeah. on the little. Third time's the charm? Yeah, let's see if this actually works this time. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Be a no. <laughs> It's because uh, you're using it near the door, so it keeps hitting the door. Clearly, <laughs> of the clearly. And then, okay, I'll start uh, moving forward and try it once more with the actual whammer. Mm. Oh. <laughs> you're so I distracted. got double ones. <laughs> How did I get double ones? Oh, dear. Uh, um. So you're so distracted by your spiritual weapon missing is that yeah. you hit the other I side the of the door as well. Yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh man. Uh, let's imagine it's a carton next time and maybe it'll go better. <laughs> uh, the goblin in front of you is looking at you. You've just killed the cook. You've just killed all his mates. He is going to try and. Uh, he's going to attack you with a scimitar. Mm-hmm. And get a seven. Uh, that does not hit. <laughs> and he's going to disengage and try to run away. Okay. To over here. Does he use no. the disengage action? He do- he uses as a bonus action to disengage mm, okay. action. And from where you are, you can see more. Uh, you can see the room. I think. Let me just reveal it. I want to shout ahead and say, can you see the food? Does it look any good? (laughs) The LPs have just said, can Amber perhaps have delayed concussion from getting knocked out before? Or was that quite a while ago now? That was about about five or six days ago. (laughs) I don't think it could have delayed quite that much. Amber was just clearly distracted by something. Yeah. Uh, This goblin up here that ran away earlier. Worried about the food. We're going to he is just stuffing food. his food, stuffing the food into his mouth okay. because he realizes he won't ever get as good a food with a cook dead. Uh, he won't get another chance to eat. He's about to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm just fastening up stomach. for the yeah, wall. You up are about walls. to die. Stuff our faces. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Ali. Feel free to go past me. Yep. All right. I think I'm gonna go. Hmm. I'm gonna go to this guy. Cool. And you can run, but you can't hide. Give him a little uh, roll back. Just gonna move this map slowly. Fourteen. Four, Fourteen is n- slashes through the air, but the, <sighs> like nips his top of his ear, but doesn't quite go through anymore than that. It's very, very close to hitting him, but not quite. 
Alas, alas. That is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lina. I'm going to have to, I think I can get here. Uh, yes. So I'm going to have to because there's no one else in sight. Right. Okay. Um, are any of these, are either of these goblins wounded? No. Huh. Rude. Um... <laughs> they, they've just essentially <laughs> just been shooting things and then trying to hit things and missing completely and running away. <laughs> Rude. Right. So, um... Okay, I'm going to. I don't suppose we don't know if there are any more goblins, do we? We only know the. You can't see any room. more in that room. You can't see any more goblins. Yeah, there are totally more goblins. <laughs> yeah, there are totally yeah. more goblins. <laughs> there are totally. That's more. what I'm thinking. I, I am starting. I am starting to learn this. Yeah. Um, there are always more goblins. Yeah. Yeah. I actually have a light crossbow. You can also do Ray of Frost. You're probably more likely to hit with the Ray of Frost than you are to hit with the crossbow. Will you say that? <laughs> yeah, that's plus four. Ray of Frost is... Um, I don't know how much more likely I am, actually. What's... I looked at that. It doesn't really say, but I get something plus something on... I'm just interested to see if I can actually do anything with the light crossbow. Uh, you should, uh, I'm just loading the character sheet. It has piercing damage. And they're wearing armor, so that seems like maybe a good thing. It's your ray of frost does plus five attack, and your last crossbow does plus four. Right, so there you go. That's the information that wasn't in Ray of Frost. Okay, I didn't yeah. have that info here. Okay. Your Ray of cool. Frost is slightly more likely to hit. So I throw out my hand and mutter something very rude in <laughs> Elven, Elvish. Elvish, and um, send a beam of blue white light straight towards this awful <sighs> goblin. It has the nerve to be eating in front of me and evidently miss completely. Too distracted by uh, food as well. Are we all hungry? Is this the but point? I did manage to blow up the cauldron behind him, I think. It, you freeze it's the cauldron soup. behind freeze him. Freeze the cauldron. Freeze the cauldron. <laughs> you know what? I'll take it. At least I hit something. If you're reserving it for later. Uh. <laughs> uh, I'll just give a quick, quick description. As my, uh, several of you are in here now. It's, it's a large hall and the, the tables are filled with um, uh, the cauldron now is a frozen fire with cold food instead of the steaming hot food that was on the tables at sturdy dishes, stew pots half full with stuff, moldy, moldy bits of bread and gnawed bones. Um, that's but what you find on the table. Food. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think we would have yeah. wanted that soup anyway, in all fairness. Yeah. So I no. think I think I did us all a favor, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Why did that yeah. shuff? The LB I... have said quick, Kalima, act like you meant to do it for intimidation, <laughs> but I think it sounds like that was a good idea anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. See what I saved you from. <laughs> yeah. You have no what's the word? Oh, god damn it. No, 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 no culinary erudition. <laughs> Standards, nice. people. Standards. Goblin, the goblins go. Erudition. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and if you'd ever read a dictionary, you know what it meant. You defines of the shrine. <laughs> I didn't. The other guys did. I, I'm not a cultist. I, I, I'm just here for eating food. <laughs> Tough. You're in Tough. front of me, <laughs> and you've been eating with these scum, these defilers. Of my goddess's sacred location. You deserve to die. And right. then I pull myself together and sneer again. <laughs> my friend. Oh. Um, if you didn't have inspiration, you definitely have it now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, On hearing Zephni. Klima enraged. Uh, <laughs> Zephni moves. Can I move here? How yep. far is it? What's your speed? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'll call it. Yeah. Okay. 
And trying to decide which one to go for. Might go for this is the one that kept shooting you. This one. Oh, is that the one that kept yeah, shooting you? Yeah, that's the one that kept shooting you. Yeah, Duffy go for that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use, <laughs> I'm gonna use yeah. my... Wait, which one was that? The one, the one, the, the other side of Ali. This oh, one. that this one. one. Oh, okay, yeah, going for that. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, Ali Duck, because I'm quite short as well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> using my Sasperation. 17? Nice. 17 nice. hits. Awesome. You managed to shoot the arrow. Claire Cash uh, said, here, take this inspiration storage pouch. Great. <laughs> 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 it goes under the arm of Ali's arm and straight in the goblin for how much damage? Uh, I should have been typing that whilst you were talking. Because <laughs> <laughs> you get the D6 as well for sneak attack. Yeah. yeah. 10 damage. 10. Uh, you shoot him through the leg and it makes him collapse. He hits his head on the floor, and he is the next goblin. Uh, oh, how do you like that arrow? Nice. <laughs> the however many times the charm. <laughs> Amber, you have right. a spiritual weapon floating around near the door. Yep. I'm going to move in, and I'm going to come and lean against the edge of this table. And then I'm going to bring the spiritual weapon with me. And I'm still going to try and hit him with a spiritual weapon and see if I can get this spell to actually be worth something. Persistence is a very admirable quality. <laughs> you you right. hit the cauldron and it tips yeah. over okay. onto the guy. <laughs> I cover him in frozen soup. <laughs> he, he, is, he starts licking his arm. He really likes the soup. <laughs> Even frozen. I'm going to pull a face and say, that's gross. <laughs> um, I don't have inspiration, so I'm going to now try with the Warhammer. Oh, that got 15 that 15. time. 15? That is enough to hit the goblin. Yay! 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 <laughs> I'm not completely useless. <laughs> <laughs> are you, um, are you get... actually in the room at this point? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm by the table, look. Are you got inspiration? Yeah, on my screen, you're not. Um, I, I did eight damage. Cool. Eight Yay. damage. That is enough to uh, just make his remains merge in with a spoon with the soup. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, we're definitely not eating that soup. And no. thank you for the inspiration, mm -mm. Claire. Mm -mm. <laughs> and you are now out of combat. Yay! Yay. We survived a barrage of goblins. We <laughs> did. Uh, That's super. And with that, <laughs> oh, with you, Cameron. <laughs> Oh, you get 400 XP for defeating those eight goblins. Between us? Between you. Okay, so 100 each. That's nice yeah. and easy to do. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, how many each? 100. Okay. Yeah. All right, hang on a second. I just had to reload my thing. Evidently, it froze up. So okay. um, I need to uh, yep. open worry. up my sheets and stuff again. Yeah. Cool. Cool. All right, so 100 XP each. Mm -hmm. Back. Yeah. All so right. from where you are, you can see a bit more of the room. Given there's not mass as much of this castle to explore, I'm going to use a cure wounds on myself as well because I'm actually now quite hurt. Good plan. Mm. So. Oh. And I heal myself up completely. A nice. Perception check. Mm. From where you are, you can see that this room okay. has no more. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say, Mokan doesn't have this trouble with his feather. Perhaps you're conjuring the wrong spiritual weapon. Have you tried a feather? <laughs> I'll try something else next time. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that is a good suggestion. Um, through the arrow slits, you can see the outside. Uh, so you can probably guess what's behind this door. There's something here. there. That's so good. Yep. yep. <laughs> And the LBs also said, does Amber need to have a check-in with her deity later on? Yeah, to be fair, I think my deity is one of the ones we want to change the shrine to. So it's probably that I'm probably okay. now with Kalima on the fact that there is such an evil presence in this building. I cannot connect fully with my deity. But I'm going to claim that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to declare. <laughs> really need to uh, the shrine. Over here. So there's a door to the north. 
and an opening to the west with a door there. So there's a door there. Oh, there's also a door over there we there. didn't check out. I miss Curry. That is correct. <laughs> we can check that out in a minute. I want to know what's through mm. this thing, because I don't know exactly where the shrine is in this building. I only know it's here somewhere. Probably to the north. Yeah, I'm going to guess it's that middle block. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is too, but um, I can see there's something down in this room. Yeah, I see we clear that, that uh, southwest clear, clear area southwest first. Room. Yeah. I'm going to be like, I'm going to let's, first let's not have any more sneak attacks by masses and masses of goblins. Well, I don't think there will be because. Uh... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> On principle, uh -oh. let's check this room. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this is what I was laughing at, so I think that's your Bible Will there be earlier. more owlbears, perhaps? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, the last owlbear was locked up, so I'm going to assume that if there are owlbears... Oh, yeah. Or, or, was there anything on any of the corpses in terms of uh, little copper pieces? or? Uh, they had bits and pieces of food. Uh... It sounds, Pass. judging by what we've just seen them eating, I reckon that was probably a very loose um, definition of food. <laughs> <laughs> and about uh i'll say on the chef he had uh, uh how much did this uh two pieces of gold on the chef and uh two pieces of gold on each of the goblins so that's 14 let's make it 12 copper pieces um on the other go guys but they were just sitting out for meals so they didn't have much on them so how much is that each uh it's three each? yeah and three one each. Uh, to, he'll have four got pieces of gold each uh, so that you can have one gold each from the chef okay right to make maths easy <laughs> okay we like easy math we do yeah <laughs> so uh, to the which way are you going? Um, Looking to the southwest. southwest. Cool. Looking first. Yep, I am going to oh. do a perception check. Well Amber done. Sees. You did better than all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Amber sees uh, what the players have seen, but there's a goblin up here, and with your perception of 17, uh, you also see. A bit more. Ah, oh, it looks mm. like there are a few more um, goblins. Okay. There's a Apparently, surprise. we need to hydrate. No, oh, we all we do. Oh. I haven't done that in a while. Um, I'm gonna hold up three fingers. Perhaps Max for me. Be like <laughs> ahead. Uh, and what lazy, disloyal goblins they are for not even responding to this other battle going on. Just take it out back here. Well, that said, if you think about it, they probably thought the screaming was over the food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. They weren't in there eating it, so they clearly didn't value it very highly. So, yeah, they probably thought the chef was just killing people with his version of gustatory kindness. They could have bad the, hearing. The yes, goblins are kindness. quite... Uh, rowdy when they're eating food as well so they just assumed it was part of the usual dining experience <laughs> uh, so the sooner we clear this vermin yeah. out of this building the better honestly i'm just so embarrassed that my goddess is having to deal with this at the moment yeah. just rude you... As you look through, these are the ruined barracks because there's underneath these goblins that you can't, what you can't see because of where the tokens are. There are like little beds. It's the, okay. essentially their, is their barracks. Their barracks. Uh, for these guys. Mm. Uh, essentially, they're just sleeping there. Do I have are they things? asleep for right now? Pick more things at once. Not really. Cool. Um, are they asleep at the moment? Uh, they're slightly disturbed, but I think if you can roll good stealth, you could probably get up to them without. I'm uh, not good at stealthing, mm -hmm. so don't ask me Sorry, to. But I don't want to get too close, though. <laughs> I only got 11. <laughs> yeah. So you're approaching them. 
as in you're trying to get to the end of the rubble like that or are we considering just moving for no no we have to clean out this we have to, i think we're gonna have to or they potentially yeah. come up behind us yeah. it's not even that it's just a matter of honor at this point oh okay <laughs> with that um they do hear you trying to approach of course and uh <laughs> it's time for initiative again <laughs> i was gonna say roll for initiative oh. yeah because let's oh. face it we're in their castle they're going to oh. attack us Uh, right. Uh, right. Oh, great. We rolled better much better time. this time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, I rolled slightly better too. I rolled masses better, which is kind of unfortunate because it means that I'm going to be <laughs> one of the soonest to get involved. I kind of like standing back and, you know, having other people. But I thought you were trying to defend the honour of your goddess. <laughs> <laughs> you are trying yes, to pull these out. But... but I'm not the best with the sword. I could probably use some more practice. And I'm kind of lacking in spell slots at the moment. I'm not averse to my teammates softening them up for me a bit first before I try and get in there and then emphatically fail to hit anything. Oh, I see. So let us do all the hard work, and then you go in and finish them off and take all the credit. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, let's face it, last time, pretty much all I achieved was freezing their food, which yeah. I think is a valuable service to goblin kind, <laughs> considering what the food comprised of, but doesn't exactly come under aggressive battle-winning moves. Maybe you should channel some of that frustration and anger that you have about the shrine into your fighting. I thought I was. The sword went everywhere except where I wanted it to go. Even the ray of frost only <laughs> hit the bleeding cauldron. I mean, yeah. frankly, it's embarrassing. I'm not. Well, I'm not doing very good service to my goddess right now. Blame it on what I'm blaming it on, because there's a shrine nearby that's dedicated to someone else. I'm not connecting to my goddess very well. That's the problem. Kill the goblins. It's all their yes. fault. Yeah. <laughs> On that note, Kalima, yeah. what would you like to do? <laughs> <laughs> um, there's three goblins stirring from their sleep. Um, and Ray of Frost. Freeze them. Freeze them. On which I'm, one? This one. Uh, this one. Cool. I'm going to uh, I'm going to go over Kalima's head. Just to hold out my hand and launch a blue white beam of freezing cold anger and sneering and kind of a bit of scaredness at this <laughs> goblin because if we can't um, reconsecrate this shrine then this could be you know this may never get reconsecrated and that is just too terrible to consider i'm Die going to give you them. i'm going to give you inspiration for that speech <laughs> Thank you. So, um, or yeah, advantage. So, oh, I'll give you advantage rather than so. inspiration. Yeah. Right, so okay. you don't have to um, use your inspiration. You just exactly. have to yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, Ray of Frost. Oh, nice. 20. Nice. nice. Not natural. But... Tell me that Ooh. hits. That does definitely hit Yay. a sleeping goblin. <laughs> oh, right. Um, and uh, 1d8 cold damage. Right. So uh, 1d8. Four. Four. He is very cold and frozen to his bed. And Good. he's he made a goblin he's a frozen statue on his bed. As he's stuck yeah. <laughs> He is his feet are currently stuck to his bed or his body is so he'll have to take a turn uh, getting up, I think. Because I think Ray of Frost is too weak. Uh, because he I don't like playing. Counter. I feel, I, know. I feel honor is mildly satisfied at this point. <laughs> awesome. uh, so it's the goblin that's just woken up. Uh, he's going to come over here and he's going to short the uh, amber. Who is popsicle. The yeah. You've made a goblin uh, popsicle. I feel like that's 17. a valuable contribution to my deity. 17 does not hit. He shoots through the air and it hits 
uh, just above your head. As in, it it goes keeps going, and the hall you're in is has a twenty five foot tall ceiling, and it just goes all the way to the ceiling. Um, I'm not licking that either, the LBs, but I was thinking the wolf no. could, because you know dogs like <laughs> ice creams and lollipops. Yeah, when Drew the second turns up with our wolf yeah. pants, you know. <laughs> I'll just let them loose in the castle. Yep. Zephni. Yep. Um, so which one got frozen? The so, one on the one with bed. The here. On it. Okay. I'm wondering whether to finish them off or whether to go for. Go for one of the others. Oh no. Okay. Can I reach that one off my bow? Uh, yes. Oh, there's line of sight. Okay. Just. <laughs> Just, I'll take just. Fourteen <laughs> uh, does the fourteen. Oh, apparently, it wasn't just enough. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it hits the very edge of the wall. There doesn't quite hit. <laughs> and the other one just made me lose the game. <laughs> yeah, he's got the leather armor and the shield. All of them. So. And I guess they've got like bed covering ads to the armor, right? Yeah. We'll so. blame it on we'll blame it on the duvets, yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> Pardon the duvets. So this goblin is currently stuck to his uh, bed. Let me see if I can, if he managed to get up. He rolls a nine. He he is still stuck to the bed, <laughs> so he can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pity. That's a real, real pity. Uh, uh, and Zephni, you seem to be liking this crossbow shortbow competitions. So this guy <laughs> is going to <laughs> shoot back. <laughs> <laughs> but he gets a 10, uh, which that I think is not, not enough. No. So he shoots and hits the rubble in between you guys. He is still too groggy. I recognise that I'm not in any position to criticise right here, but they're not very good with their bows, are they? <laughs> Can Zafni <laughs> take that arrow? Uh, it's in the rubble at the moment. So well, it's I did wonder far. about the one that went behind us and, and hit the, um, the ceiling. Well, was it aimed at me? That will be in the ceiling. Mm. It's all the way up. It's, it's 25, 25 uh, feet up. Someone taller um, than me, able to stand on the table. And I'm taller, but I'm not. <laughs> Can Prestidigitation grab it? No, Mage Hand or might Mage be able hand? to. Yeah. Mage, Mage Hand, hand would, uh... <laughs> would that take an action? Yeah. That would take an action. That yeah. Okay, when I get really that, late, I've, I've got seven left. <laughs> okay. We need to find some arrows, clearly. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to buy some in Phantom. <laughs> 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 Ali. If I were to move here, would I be able to attack the diagonal goblin? What? Uh, yeah, you should yeah. be able to, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to move gonna over there the <laughs> and uh, take a swing with my green axe. Ooh. Nice. You swing around the corner and hit him uh, <laughs> in his nice. legs because he's standing on the, his bed. Uh, and <laughs> slice him in half. Nice. Yes. <laughs> slice him uh, and dice him. Uh, I assume you are you're not using any bonus actions or anything. No. Cool. Amber, I think you. I'm going to allow you to still have the spiritual weapon because it's been quite a short while between everything. Oh, okay. Cool. So you've um, got another five rounds worth. So you're about half the time you've used up. Okay. Hi, Wolf Song. Welcome. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Recording was not a good time. <laughs> that sounds a bit sad. I hope we can make you feel better. Um, yeah, what am I going to do? Um, spiritual weapon. I guess I'll float it along. I don't even know where it got to. It got to over there, there, I believe. Was, somewhere. Yeah, somewhere over there. And 20. So it so, can move. It can just 60 about. Feet. I can't remember how much. I thought it moved 60 move. feet. So I thought it crossed the whole thing anyway. Uh, let me just check. No, I can only move it. 20 feet in a turn. Ah, fair enough. Well um, so if it say it was there, I can move it to there. Yeah. So I will move it closer. <laughs> so it's just floating. Can it in knock front of arrows everyone. out of the <laughs> out of the air if they try to fire? Maybe. Can it, maybe. Can it knock 17. arrows out of the ceiling? Mm, probably not. 
It would break the arrow. It would probably break the arrow. Um, um, I will also move closer and I will come in. Um, I'm so tempted to hit the icicle and see if I can shatter it. If you if you hit the icicle, I was just thinking that's not Do the it. worst way to go. Right? Yeah. All right. Let's try and I'm going to try He's... and warhammer the frozen one. I'm going to you, aim. You've got you've got advantage it. then because okay. he's lying down. Oh. <laughs> advantage it makes so, no right? difference. No, it's 15. No, it doesn't. 15. No. Uh, you slam down on this ice and manage to hit the bed frame somehow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> made that bad. I'm definitely, definitely very aware that we need to consecrate this, reconsecrate this shrine because it's totally it's messing with my mojo. It's definitely all the deity, the lack of, of deity connections fault. Yep. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you there. Yeah. Uh, with all this commotion, from behind Ali, the door yeah. opens. Oh, why? <sighs> and there's another goblin there. <laughs> I'm glad I'm way back. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, and he's going to try to attack, but rolls a 10. Uh, <laughs> That does not uh, hit, shockingly. He, the goblin opens the door, sees someone there, tries to attack and just doesn't know what he's doing. Uh, so, uh, so I'm does almost not kind hit. of insulted that, you know, they've defiled the shrine of Ogma and yet they've sent all these pathetic, decrepit, incompetent, scummy goblins in to defend their defilement. The old bees have asked, is this a giant goblin sleepover or something? Because they're everywhere. It does seem like a big giant goblin sleepover, doesn't it? Yeah. Festival of some kind. Yeah. Some kind of goblin <laughs> gathering. It is their castle. It's, it's not their live. castle. It's not theirs. It's not their castle. They made castle. it theirs. <laughs> or make it our castle. Or make it our. <laughs> they're squatting in the castle. That does not make didn't, it theirs. Didn't, didn't we declare last great... stream that Ali is now queen of the castle? Yes. Have yeah. a queen yes, Ali, please so. clear out my castle for me. <laughs> yeah. And they're not like looking after it, are they? There's rubble no. everywhere. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a fixer-upper, but, you know, you've got to start somewhere when you're rebuilding the family legacy. <laughs> Bit of a fixer-upper. Uh, <laughs> Kalima. Right. Um, I guess I'm going to Ray of Frost again and try and freeze this scummy completely. Fix that completely. Um, well, with yeah. inspiration. Oh, oh, no. oh, no. oh no. Stop doing this to us. Why? <laughs> it must be the shrine. We're going to shoot him, and that's that. <laughs> the last battle was so much fun. <laughs> it, it must be. You rolled so well against the, uh, the first leaders. Few, we just basically slaughtered them left, right, and centre. Oh, yeah. Now this lot, it's like we can't hit them. <laughs> uh, it's like and even the uh, leaders. Magic? Kind. I I don't what what magic. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm also going to make a case for us being underfed. Yes. Mm -hmm. You and you're We're underfed hungry. and disgusted at the food that appeared. Yeah. Yes. Well. And also desperately lacking connection to you know my slash yeah. Amber's deity. You know, and there's just there's just a lot of terrible things. <laughs> and the room probably smells <laughs> dreadful of yeah. They were yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, ne next shot will probably have advantage <laughs> uh, based on performance <laughs> of the players. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this goblin uh, looked at Amber, took his scimitar out, and put it away again. <laughs> right. He rolled that badly. <laughs> Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. It's, it's okay. not just us then, well, it's clearly no. catching. Was it this one which was trying to shoot me? Yeah. It was, yes. Okay, I'm gonna try and shoot them back. Oh, <laughs> oh. I'm such a spacing oh, areas now. Simply awful rolls. <laughs> I need to get some dice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to roll my own dice from now on. Dice. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps the goblin will try to parlay. Um, 
Hello. The goblin in on the bed, frozen on the bed, tries to get up, but he's still frozen solid. He, I put a strength check to see if he can break out of the ice. He got a one. <laughs> <laughs> so, he stays I'm, I'm there. I'm going to be openly laughing at him. <laughs> I think he's quite the fact we can't hit them either. He barely yeah. deserves it, and I need to get my jollies somewhere at this point. He can't think of anything clever to say to break the ice. James, you deserve me for a terrible pun. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Ali, a goblin appeared behind you. Yes, I am going to use my inspiration and attack that guy like great axe yeah good thing i used it yeah like <laughs> the other rolls this one actually paid off <laughs> why hasn't that been 14. 14. 14. yeah he's got to be an ex goblin that... right 14 damage yes he is a shattered goblin no the wrong one yeah Slash. that is that one. Cleaved in half uh, because he Life literally that's double the hit points. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Cool. Uh, Thank you, Ali, for helping Amber. us restore honor. You're welcome. Right. You're welcome. I mean, it is I... my castle. I have a vested interest in getting this thing cleared out from the vermin <laughs> that have infested it. I'm just going to quickly read Spiritual Weapon and see if I can change what shape it is during the spell. <laughs> <laughs> also Ali I feel like uh, I is... would allow that right. but would... yeah. I'm going to turn it into a giant head an animal head and it's going to be a fox <laughs> <laughs> why a fox what does the fox say <laughs> inspiration how many fox do you give <laughs> I give no fox <laughs> yeah and I'm going to use inspiration. Well, technically, you do give one big spiritual fox. I give one big spiritual fox. Yeah, okay. That's a probably better way to phrase it. <laughs> spiritual fox. Apparently. And I get a 24 with inspiration. With 24, that definitely hits. <laughs> awesome. Which one are you attacking? Uh, the frozen one. The frozen one. Frozen one. Seven damage on the frozen one. Uh, yes! Finally, Dead. the fox hits it and it Frozen smashes goblins. through the goblin and into the bed. Um, awesome. That is an ex goblin. Yay! And do you get another Yay. hit on the. I do. I get, I get to take a turn. Yeah. Right. Uh, I've got just a whale on the other one, I suppose. This might not be quite so cool now, but you know. <laughs> Apparently, well. you get inspiration for <laughs> stylish take down. <laughs> I, I, yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so I get to keep inspiration at least. But yeah. Just yeah. don't damage any arrows that they have. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's me done. That didn't hit, I'm assuming. Uh, no. All right. 12 does not. Uh, another one appears. And oh, to make things know. slightly fast, I'm going to reveal a bit more of the area. Um, and during the, the, where's my mouse? Um, two more appear back here. <laughs> and they start doing the conga. <laughs> 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 I heard the fox singing. <laughs> They're getting into it. Cool. But they're too far away to do anything. Oh. Uh, Swarm of tank offers. So, so is this goblin here? Simata. 15 to slice out Ali. Does not hit. <laughs> The goblins are getting really frustrated <laughs> and not it. <laughs> Kalima. Right. Um, I guess I'm going to move to here. Mm. I'm going to pray most heartfeltly to Ogma. 
you do have the advantage because I mentioned it earlier. You did it. Awesome. That's yeah. great. Um, that my ray of frost will please freeze this slimy little asshole who <laughs> likes terrible food. I mean, just the insult cannot be borne. And just kill the bastard, please. <laughs> yeah. 17. Yeah. Yeah. Most definitely hit. I'll be the said they're getting frustrated. They have no idea the river of blood that's had to be waded through to get to this point. <laughs> yeah, <cool>. Exactly. <laughs> True. Um, right, and it's 1d8. Please, Ozma, please, please. Three. Three. He is now uh, very cold and uh, he wasn't connected to the bed, so he's not frozen to the bed. But so he's still there. But he's slowed, I believe, which means he can't yes. move very fast. Uh, it's like um, reduce his speed reduced by ten feet until the start of my next turn. Yeah, which I'm not which sure I makes much understood. of a difference because there's plenty of targets within. Yeah, his range. But he but... <sighs> he still wants to shoot a crossbow at Zephni. Uh, <laughs> Because he's that seems a bit unfair, <laughs> but okay. I should probably be glad not to be getting shot at right now. Yeah. He lifts his crossbow up, shoots, and I assume a 19 hit. Yes. Yeah. Oh. 19 would hit anyway. hits. Bright side, you now have an arrow. <laughs> <In me. laughs> the, the arrow embeds itself on in your leg, I think, so that your shooting hands are not damaged, and you get six damage. Oh, well, that requires doing maths. I can't do maths. <laughs> You've got seventeen left. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's you guys are strong enough to take a few hits now, unlike yeah. the first cave. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to, you know, aim right back at them. Yep. Using advantage. Does it put in here? No. Wow. wow. <laughs> I must be so distracted by having like an array in my leg. <laughs> Which, yeah. to be fair, it's would be fair. quite distracting. Yeah, fair. yeah. Painful yeah. And just like moving me around slightly, just trying to, just oh. trying to pull it out while shooting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You are. Uh, I'm going to reduce them. Goblins. Oh, anyway, um, Ali. There's still a goblin north to you. North yeah. from you. Another goblin. Yeah, I think uh, we're gonna. I think we're gonna take a swing at that guy to the north. Twenty-two nice. most definitely hits. Oh, wow. um, most definitely kills. Yay! <laughs> All right, just keep them coming, guys. Uh, Amber. Right. Uh, do I still have the spiritual weapon? I'm losing track of how many uh, times I've used it and if I still have I it. I think you've got two turns. more turns. Okay. Three more turns. Okay, awesome. Last In which case, I'm going for a fox again. I give a fox. <laughs> <laughs> Are you using the real dice or roll 20? In fact, you give a flying fox. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. I do, I give a flying fox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it wasn't quite the like second time. No. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't give a fox. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I'm going to take a swing with my Warhammer, and this time I'm going to use my inspiration. 16. Yes. Yeah. Does hit. Yay. Vice the bastard. <laughs> and does it do more than four damage? Uh, yes. Automatic. It does eight. It. it uh, the hurting frozen goblin, as you you just smack him down and uh, s split him in half. Uh, it's a warhammer, so more like squish, squish him. Squish. Yeah. squish him in half. Shatter his yeah. frozen bits <laughs> into chunks. <Yes. laughs> exactly. I'm all for shattering goblin bits. Well done. That's an excellent visual. Yeah. 
I'm just like, don't touch the arrows, keep the arrows safe. Uh, having, having seen all his mates being shot at and hurt, this one is going to run away. <laughs> Good. I approve. Uh, Remove yourself. I shout after him, tell all of them I am now queen of this castle. Yay! <laughs> Take uh, away for Queen Ali. Can <laughs> uh, the chat gift arrows? <laughs> we'll find some. Ooh. We'll find some. <laughs> this one will also run away. Out of here. Yay! <laughs> it's aspiration Ali as well. <laughs> yeah. So both of these goblins will run away because they're too. They don't want to fight anymore. Yeah. And. Currently, you're out of initiative, and it's also 9.26, okay. so it's probably a good time for a break if you need anything for the players. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Is, is, this, yeah. is this aspiration the same as inspiration? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Just earned by yeah. It started in, in one of the one-shots mm -hmm. with me and Anne-Marie. Yes. There was a lot of back-and-forth sass, sass and bickering. <laughs> <laughs> Someone coined the term sasperation. I love it. I love it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> It's become a thing. So All you right. get 250 experience points between you. Sorry, how much? Uh, 250. That's okay. not handy. So that's really awkward. Yeah. Um, that's 62 yeah. each. Oh, uh, hold on a minute. 62, that's 90, 157. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, 750. Okay, cool. All right. Cool. Yeah. Um, and do I find any arrows? Do I have uh, to check on them? I will. You, you automatically get half of them back. Yeah. You use. And I'll do mage hand <laughs> and get you back that one up in the ceiling. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And uh, look in this door. This door. Cool. <laughs> I oh. don't see anything. <laughs> I'm blinded by my my amazing victory of killing a bunch of things. <laughs> well, well, I'm going to go back to our queen of a castle goes slightly to your head. <laughs> 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 okay, oh, I, just my and, I just have to go. I just have to go and um, take care of elven wizard things. I should be back in a minute. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's do. I have to do some regish things. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, we've all decided that we won't roll ads in the breaks because we found out it doesn't, it doesn't quite do what we thought. We thought. thought. <laughs> so yeah. uh, you won't get ads from us in intervals anymore, uh, which might please some of you. You might like ads, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Just to listen but, to us ramble instead. Yeah, yeah, basically. Ramble about what's going on. Mm. Is there anything going on? Does anyone have anything you've, they want to talk about? You've just had a book out. I have just had a book out last Thursday, and I did a reading on Friday. Um, which you can find on your Twitch. It was on my Twitch, yeah. Should I link it? Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it should still be available. Yeah, it'll be Friday. available for another 10 days or so. Yeah. I can type my name. <laughs> this is my Twitch. Cool. And if you follow her um, yes. as well, you'll know when next time it happens. Yes, because I will hopefully do a reading each time I have a book out in the series. And you've got 12 yes. coming out this year? Yes. The whole series, all 12 books, is coming out this year. Wow. Because I thought that was a good idea, and so did the publisher. <laughs> so now I've got to finish them that quickly. <laughs> I am I'm writing book eight at the moment, so it's not like there's masses of pressure. The first five books are completely and utterly done. So... Yeah. 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 Awesome. And um, we had a Q&A last week from the GMs. The GMs did a Q&A last week. And Wednesday, uh, we've got the Pyramid stream. Yeah. So that's about it, I think. Um, I'm not sure if we have anything else to announce. Not really. How did your promotion go, um, Amy? My, sorry, my, my what? Your promotion on your button. My, my promotion, yes. Uh, pretty, pretty well. It's uh, it's still hanging out. Um, 
on, on a couple of the uh, couple of the category lists. So awesome. I'm right. fairly pleased. I'm working on book two now. Yay! Oh, exciting. Yeah, uh, it's been a bit of a slow start on it, but I, I think I'm kind of, I, I have it figured out now. Yay. Nice. And you also have, is that audio book deal you had on somewhere still available? Yeah, yeah. So uh, my original Catacle series, my, my new release is, is set in the same universe and is kind of a sequel to the, uh, the original one. So the original one was produced as audiobooks by Podium Publishing. And yeah. they just started up a new partnership with Costco to get the audiobooks as a bundle in the U.S. from Costco. Yeah, and cool. so you can apparently Costco now has an audiobook app, which I was not okay. aware of until <laughs> I found out that mine are in it. So you can actually get a bundle of the of all five uh, of the original uh, for less than the price of one on Audible. So that's pretty awesome. So if you yeah. are interested in space opera and have a Costco membership, you can go check that out. If you just search for the the catacol or um, audiobooks or my um, my author may make a new buff on Costco it should show up awesome nice that's yeah, very pretty cool. exciting yeah <laughs> very very cool yeah podium just got even more awesome <laughs> yes they they are a great company yeah. they got they were the ones that got Nathan Fillion in as well didn't they yeah they did I can't remember the author's name it's really not easy to pronounce <laughs> Um, well. Yudinjaya Vishnuratna, but it's pretty close. I know I'm butchering it a little bit, but that's that's as best as I can do, not having it in front of me. I'm friends yeah, with him uh, on wait, Facebook, and I've I, had yeah. so many conversations, but I just can't say his name. I'm yeah, he him. he goes by Yuda most of the time, which is yeah. pretty easy. Um, I got to hang out with them in person a, a bit, and he's he's an awesome guy. Yep, amazing. Yep. It couldn't have happened to a nicer person to have Nathan Fillion mm -hmm. narrating your audiobook, yep. to be fair. <laughs> he oh, totally sure. deserved it. <laughs> Amazing. And yeah. So uh, does anyone in the chat have anything they want to share? <laughs> yeah. Anything going on in anyone else's life? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, it's I'm trying to figure out what's saying in the interval is quite interesting. Well, normally we have plenty of stuff to say, but mm. sometimes it's just like, oh, we've said it all already lately. I feel like yeah. I'll need to publish something soon, just so that I can. So you can say, I published something. <laughs> I did a thing. Yay. <laughs> that would be cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's my aim to publish something before I'm 30. So I've got like a year and a half to go. Okay. Nice. Cool. That's quite a good aim. Nice. Mm. I like goals. I yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've got, um, in two weeks' time, we're back here. Yes. Uh, hopefully out of this castle. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I reckon we've got enough time to finish this castle. Yes. And how many goblins there are. It does depend on the goblins. Are. Some of them just ran away. So. Would, anyone like to see, would anyone like to see oh, the yes. fluff monster? Yes. Like fluff. Fluff monster. Fluff. Of course. Oh, oh the fluff. <laughs> so fluffy. That is a big doggy. Thank you. <laughs> He's such a good boy. Oh. <laughs> He's so delicate sick. with it, isn't he? Yeah. Okay. Oh, good one, boy. one more. Oh, good boy. Uh, <laughs> okay, now I have to take these back out again, otherwise he'll just sit here and being like, more treats, more treats. Feed me, feed me. <laughs> yeah. So we'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, cool. Uh, we'll start again in, as soon as she's back. Awesome. Um, and yeah. There were a lot of goblins here. There are now two fewer. Uh, and there's... Did we get the XP for those ones, even though we didn't kill them? Yeah, I added them in, yeah. I thought I'd just check. And... Oh, yeah, how did my arrow search go? Did we find any more? Uh, did you roll something for it? I rolled possession. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. No. To be fair, uh, I didn't look in the room by Ali yet. I was yeah. going to go looking for uh -huh. arrows. And did any of you look in the barracks as well? Oh, uh, 
Which barks? This one. No, the room we're in. Oh, I'm going to go look in that and I'm going to roll perception again. Because you're looking in a different room. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to walk into this room and roll perception. <laughs> oh, I will get it too. I have perception. And it's not any better. <laughs> but, uh, I try to investigate. I'm 12. 12. Okay. Uh, in the little room with Amber, mm-hmm. because this is a. Uh, they were shooting arrows through the arrow slit. There are. Let me roll the dice. Uh, ten uh, arrows in there. Awesome. I, I grab the, the quiver of them and go, Zephni, found you some more arrows. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, and Kalima fun. rolled a 20 and found and uh, managed to find the arrow. And as it's dislodged from the roof, uh, another four arrows fell down as well. Uh, <laughs> from, t- from old target practice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we got 15. So, I've got 21 now, Fantasia. Yay! Yay. Polly, you stopped again. (laughs) Thank you, guys. Cool. We have Uh, it. Is there anything else in those rooms? Can do some more twang F. I rolled a 20 in here. Does that get me anything? That's how you managed to get more arrows for. Ah. uh, Yay! Awesome. How to be felt. As you look out through the arrow slit, you could see that if you had come in through the front door, you would have been easy target practice for yeah. the goblins in yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm so glad we didn't come in through the front door. Mm, yeah. Do we want lucky. to oh. investigate this room before we go any further? Potentially. Though I think it's probably just another way into the castle. Uh, let me reveal no, that for you. There'll be another goblin down there. So you know what? Let's mm. just make sure. <laughs> it, it's it's the another entrance. If you had goblin. gone south, you'd have gone through there. Right. Cool. And encountered so, all these terrible the, the goblins with terrible choice in food that much sooner. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I just thought they had a bad chef. We don't know if they all had like bad yeah, taste. That's but true. They did enjoy uh, it. I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> So, uh, the room to the in front of the the entrance way, there's a small area um, leading off uh, to the east, with a door at the end there. If I'm using the correct uh, door there? tool, yeah, you've yeah. got a door there, and this door is open, which is what where the um, the other goblins, goblins came from. Came from. Check out the layout on the door. other side. Check out the open door. Are you all coming with me? Yep. Oh, I'm going yeah. to do this. I'm happy to kill <laughs> more goblins. I'll go have a peek in. Um, this is another uh, archer's post. Uh, and let's see. You find three more arrows there because right. the. Mm-hmm. the Surviving goblins have run away, took them, some of them. Right. I hand Zephni another three arrows. Thank you. Cool. So there's north and east, essentially. Well, we're by the north door. Let's go north. Cool. Uh... I'm happy to try and clear out. I I don't think the shrine is there. I think the shrine is in the middle, but I'm yeah, happy probably. to clear out all the goblins first. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Cool. Uh, let me... So are you going through the door? Um, I don't know. Ali, are you going to potentially... Yeah, I'll go through the door. I don't even need a perception check. I know there's going to be goblins. (laughs) (laughs) Let's just be realistic. (laughs) Let's just go through ready to attack goblins. Yeah. What about? Yeah. Great axe at the ready. We're going to go do this thing. So you open the door and you find it's a storeroom. Oh. No goblins. there's There's a door to the left. 
but then no goblins at the moment. It's there's a uh, sort of meat and sack of rotting grain, and they're there. Is the meat any you, good? Uh, it's salted meat. You could salt meat, so it should be yeah. Mm, I'm just gonna what pull out a bit and have a munch. Meat. I just have a is munch it, anyway. Is it people meat though? <laughs> I don't know. I'm about to find out. <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe we'll leave that. Although, are, are, the, are goblins in the habit of salting their meat? Don't know. Uh, um, no, they're not. <laughs> no, so right. So, yeah, so it's probably not. reasonable meat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. I'm yeah. Gonna, um, it tastes nice. It's yeah, owlbear meat, to be precise. <laughs> oh, oh, no. No, I don't want to eat that. <laughs> no. No. Oh, for the a... Anything else? <laughs> Save it for the wolves. I mean, Thanks. the owlbear's um, dead. It's not going to, you know, true. Yeah. But yeah. You also find a heavy crossbow hmm. and an uns unsheathed longsword with the emblem of Neverwinter worked into the, the hilt. Why aren't we looking for someone's Ooh. longsword? I, I think uh, your cousin uh, had had all his stuff taken from him. Yeah, might be my cousin's stuff then. Yeah. Well, he is here in the castle. We can yeah. always ask him in a bit. Yeah. Well, assume it's my cousin's stuff, and if it yeah. is, we'll take it to him. <laughs> What's through that other door right in front of us? Uh, to the left one. Does the anyone? One. I'm uh, gonna find out. Yeah. <laughs> Just so. Straight axe ready. <laughs> With a seventeen as well on your previous right. perception, Kalima. Yeah. You find one of the barrels is filled with, uh, has a bottle of brandy. Oh, nice. Uh, dwarven brandy? It is indeed dwarven brandy. Mm, I think I shall share this, this when, is the good we stuff. Have, when we have reconcentrated yeah. the shrine. Yes. Uh, it has the about 20 glasses worth. Awesome. Uh, Five if each, you drink plenty enough to get rat -assed. If you drink one, you get one HP back. Ooh, if you drink oh. two within the same hour, you get poisoned. <laughs> right. It's that strong, is it? <laughs> it is that strong. It is that strong. So it's one the recovers. the version of dwarf bread, of Tolkien's yeah. dwarf bread. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Elf bread. Lambus bread. Uh, Our elf bread, So yeah. you open the door, did you say? I think so. <laughs> about to. I don't oh, think anything's going to stop Queen Ali from opening a door in her oh. own castle at this point. Cool. Oh my there's gosh! Four... <laughs> there's four hobgoblins there. Oh great! Well, that was a brilliant idea, wasn't it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All that stuff next to them. Yeah, that looks great. interesting. Mm. What's that? Oh, I think we six. might have to kill them in order to find out. Uh. The, Maps? the hobgoblins yeah, are using this honest, as a barracks. I think that is a accident. Yes, what I think it might that? be as well. Yeah. What, what looks what like little accident? maps. They look like little maps beside the hobgoblins on the map. Okay. I think they shouldn't be there. But I'm I zooming really right think. in and they do look very yeah. much like... Yeah. Well, either that... Or no, it's all right. I recognise the them because I made them, and I don't know what they're doing on this map. <laughs> I was going to say, or they're in the middle oh. of a very complex business presentation for somebody yeah, who's doing pyramid <laughs> marketing scheme right now. <laughs> and when I say pyramid marketing scheme, that's actually an an accidental but apropos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's funny. <laughs> uh, turn order. Please roll for initiative. <laughs> Great. Okay. Because uh, uh, you said you were going time. to attack them, right, as you came in? Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Oh, I don't think we have much choice at this point, to be honest. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, I had my great axe ready when I swung that door open. <laughs> so I, I think you'll get... Uh, you'll get one Kalima attack. Inspiration Kalima for the pyramid scheme, Quip. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? Inspiration Kalima for the pyramid scheme. Yay! Thank you. Um, so cool. Queen Ali gets to swing her great axe. All right, so yeah. which way does the door swing? Where's the hinge, side, uh, north or south? 
uh, it goes north. Okay. okay, so I will uh, take a swing at the guy uh, on the south. Cool. There, right next to the door. Nice. nice. It's a hobgoblin. <laughs> and six damage. Six damage on that one. I'm going to zoom in because... Is it now a hobble goblin? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't uh, resist. Yeah. Uh, with six damage, he is very hurt, uh, but still standing. Just uh, where's... Did I close the turn order? I did. Yes, I think you did. Um, somehow. Cool. It is now the Hobgoblin's uh, turn from behind the door. So he's going to go round the door. And what can he do? He's going to swing his longsword with two hands and get an eight. <laughs> distracted by the door. The doors are <laughs> terribly distracting. <laughs> <laughs> Being big and woody and you know powerful like that. I already understand. It's not a curtain. Now we yeah. understand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your hobgoblin with a certain disposition is just terribly, terribly distracting. The hurt hob hobgoblin from the southern one. He is going to stab out with his longsword at Ali, and he did roll a twenty-one. Oh, that so... definitely hits. <laughs> And he rolled a one, so that does <laughs> two damage. <laughs> wow, ouchie. <laughs> so it's like just, just a the tip just scratches. <laughs> uh, Kalima. Hobgoblins appear at the door. Are these guys in charge? No, they're, called, they're not in charge. We killed the people in charge. Do yeah. they even know that the people in charge are dead? Not so they've just been waiting out here in the barracks until some order came along. So, do, do they? No. Do, they do, do you even know why you're here? Do, do you realize that the people who pay you are dead? Do you think that's enough to actually get them to go away? <laughs> the people who pay uh, you are dead. Are you, are you actually saying that in character to them? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Could you roll? Uh, what's Persuade, the persuasion? Persuasion. Yeah. Um. Oh Christ! This isn't going to go well. Um, plus, uh, in my inspiration, seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, that is enough for him to go. They're dead. Yeah. What we do you them, mean? Yeah. We killed them. The, we killed the, them. They're all dead. The black the, spider. The, the, woman, the uh, black spider. The, yeah. The king. The black king whatever spider. his name is. King crawl. Yeah. King crawl. King crawl doesn't crawl, matter. Uh, but. Who you killed the uh, what the spider guy? Uh, spider. <laughs> the black spider, yeah, yeah, but he's not, yeah. he's not even here. Well, we killed the thing that looked like him, yeah. Ah, so if we kill you, we get to um, we get to take your corpses to the real black spider. We just killed everyone we just else killed here. The black <laughs> Good luck trying to kill us. You should be uh, bowing the... in front of your queen. Yeah. <laughs> queen, Ali is now the queen of this castle. Get down on your knees and bow. Uh, Amber, you really you should. Roll... Yeah, can can I try a, pers a persuasion? I want to, do, I want to try yeah. intimidation. Intimidation <laughs> first and then persuasion. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not very intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> well, they probably are about twice as tall as you, which probably doesn't help. <laughs> yeah, there's that. <laughs> With a 19, the one in front of you, uh, you're persuading him to do give up or what? Yeah, just uh, you, you can either help us out or, or leave, uh, whatever you prefer. But uh, if you want to live, like you're don't fight us, because clearly you're going to die. Yeah, we've, we've killed pretty much everything else in this place. Leave your arrows and walk out. <laughs> Leave your weapons. Zero. The one right in front of you uh, does exactly that and yeah. tries to get past you. Do you allow him to get past you? Yes. 
does everyone allow him to get yeah. past? Yeah, as long as we watch him. As long as he, we leave. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna at least move to the doorway to make sure that he actually goes out the front door. Yeah. Yeah, he's out of here. Awesome. Yeah, so, well, one down. That's one. Uh, the one that's hurt. Uh, that was the one uh, that was hurt, wasn't it? No. No, the one that's no. hurt is this one. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Oh, let me just put a thing is because if bloody were a thing, he <laughs> would be bloody. Uh, I'm just going to roll. Cool. Uh, this one also goes. Do you mind if I follow him? Go for it. Go. Everyone yeah. okay with him leaving? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Again, I will make sure he actually. I see him leave. Yeah. And I hope they're dropping um, their weapons behind. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Leaving a trail, a trail so, of arrows in their way. So this one rolled high. So this one, I'm not scared of you, and he doesn't move. So there's two left. Two Is left. <laughs> that's that's still better than All right. I think that's a turn well spent. <laughs> um, yep. Well, so, Ali, that's the injured one round the corner. Well, we're just going to take another swing at him then. <laughs> Aww. Womp, womp. Yeah, Eight fine. does not hit. Uh, I was distracted by his defiance. <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, Amber, there's two oh, hobgoblins right. left, and you know the other two have left. Okay. Hmm. I don't have anything like spiritual weapon left, so no. I'm going to have to... I suppose I could use Guiding Bolt. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with that. I'm going to use a spell called Guiding Bolt. 17. Nice. <laughs> 17. Are you aiming at? Yep, on the one, the one I can see directly ahead. So right. the, the uninjured one. 17 yep. does not hit. Are you oh, kidding me? Oh, what? Oh, crap. They must have just he high he is range. using his chainmail and he's put his shield up. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, these guys are wearing chainmail. They are they're wearing chainmail. You know, you can use that's, shocking grasp on something that doesn't have metal uh, exactly metal armor. Exactly what I was just thinking. <laughs> yeah, but you, you don't. The person doesn't have to be wearing metal armor for you to use shock and grasp. But you just get advantage. Right, but everyone else was always wearing leather armor, which meant yeah. I couldn't use it. No, all. you can still use it. You just don't get advantage. You get advantage if it ha- oh. if they're wearing metal armor, because oh. Cal used it on Florian when he kissed the spider <laughs> to see if he could shock him out of the. <laughs> and Florian wears leather armor. Yeah. Good to know. So you can still use it. You just don't get advantage. <laughs> That's what it says in the handbook now because of that incident. <laughs> that is all I can do then. Yeah. yeah. If these guys are meant to be tough, and you manage to get rid of two of them without yeah, clearly. fighting. Um, so it's this so, whole so problem. So basically, this time. being an argumentative bitch really worked out for me in this case. <laughs> <laughs> well, worked uh, out for us, actually. Cool. This guy is going to. Uh, where's my mouse? There it is. Uh, charge up to Ali and try to hit. Two sorted long hand and get a non natural 20. That which hits. does hit. Oops. Which uh, I should not roll d20 for damage. No, please. That... <laughs> <laughs> Instead, I get a two plus one, three damage. All right, that sounds better. <laughs> so How he much? swings down. Um, do I have any helpful buffs that can improve the odds? I do. I <laughs> guess what I'm about to cast. <laughs> <laughs> Zephni. Right, can I reach this guy? You can reach either one because the door opened the other way. Cool, I'm going to go for the fat guy in the doorway. And I'm going to use inspiration. Cool. 18. 18. You shoot and it hits through the shield and into the arm. one. Yes, it was only by one. <laughs> no. But 18 does hit. Well, it does hit. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, I missed okay, by one. Gosh. I missed okay. by one. <laughs> I was going to say. Right. Uh, can I, I can use sneak attack as well. Yeah. 
Right. The tricky mm -hmm. part of typing in the role. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What will it be? Will it be enough to one shot him? Oh. Oh, come on, Stephanie, don't give it a run. Oh, 14. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, two, Mac, uh, no, four, four, and three. Uh, nice. Uh, D6s, so. Yeah. Uh, you shoot him. He gets sent backwards, reeling onto the floor, and it's gone. Yeah. Uh, hey. <laughs> One shot sneak attack. One shot. Yeah. It's now the hurt one who. Uh, realizes that he won't be, he won't survive going back to help goblins because he's injured. Uh, therefore, he will just continue attacking with, because he's injured. He's still only using it one hand. Does a seventeen hit, Ali? It does. Um, and does another. That's one D eight. Uh two plus one. Three damage. <laughs> They're falling <laughs> really badly for damage. That's okay. <laughs> it's all good. How much health do you have left, Ali? I am at twelve. A healing face in the soil, right? Yeah, yeah I have, I'm gonna use second wind on my next turn. Okay. Cool. Gonna right. I've got a bunch of stuff, I'm gonna move up here, works. which I think gives me line of sight to this guy. It does. Right, and I'm going to cast Shocking Grasp. You have to be next to them to do Shocking yeah. Grasp. Well, bollocks, fine. You have I'll to literally next. reach out and touch them. Yeah, so you could go there. Um, actually, I think I'm going to go here. Yeah, just, cool. just for the fun of it. Right, okay. Um, Use your inspiration. Yeah, well, I think I get yeah. advantage anyway because he's wearing metal armor. Oh, oh, yeah, good yes. point. 20, and 24, yeah, most it. definitely hit. Awesome. Right, okay. Um, 1d8 lightning damage. D8. Four. Oh. Cool. I'm going to say with the metal armor, it gave a little bit more of a shock than that because he had five hit points. So it, it <laughs> happens. <laughs> <laughs> and he is a dead top goblin. Yeah. Something. Yes. The first time you used shopping, shocking grasp, you <laughs> killed something. Yay! And I'm gonna uh, dance on his core because it's really, really worth it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It makes yeah. a lot of sound as you stamp along his chainmail. Uh, the LB is just oh, yeah, shocking this is the performance from Mister right Hobgoblin. Oh uh, yeah. For the dungeon. Oh right, yeah. Sorry. Mm. Let's see. <laughs> and, then, see, and you know uh, what? It doesn't really matter if it's a really bad performance because, yeah, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, yes, it is a bad performance. It's just too yeah. tangy. Uh, well, but I think you it's more get... like symbols. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm kind of, you know, just more, more. He's electrifying. <laughs> rhythmic, so, so you were, wait, one's got chills <laughs> and the other's electrifying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Oh, hey, I've Amber, do you have advantage? <laughs> do you have inspiration? I don't have inspiration. You do now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for in terms of experience, you get four hundred experience, so a hundred each. Awesome. Nice. Uh, perception fifteen. Zephni, mm -hmm. as you look around. Uh, this is the, the Hobgoblin's barracks. <laughs> it's the a slug. Sorry, Sorry. I can't hear you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the chat gets so funny. The chat gets inspiration, the chat gets inspiration oh. for continuing <laughs> the song. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so hard to not burst out into song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <that>. uh, <laughs> so... Uh, with a 15, as you look around, you realize this is the barracks for the hobgoblins who have slightly better stuff in there. The north wall is damaged, but it's kept, the rest is kept clear of the rubble. Is there uh, a curtain? <laughs> <laughs> the curtain goes all the way around the 
uh, north wall to keep the cold out. Well, so you can look yes. out if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so in there you can find five spears, Ooh. four long swords, three morning staffs, two great swords, and a fine and quarter staff. A fine quarter staff. What's yeah. the fine quarter the, staff? The quarter staff is engraved with the stylized feathers. It's surprisingly light and is worth ten gold pieces. Hmm. Why take a long sword? Because I'm proficient with long swords. Yeah. I don't know. If, well, I've got this thingy glass staff, so I don't really need a, a fine quarter staff. No. No. Just a very nice quarter staff. If people is welcome to. to it. I'm good with my axe. Yeah. I might yeah. take the quarter staff. Yeah, go for it. Cool. Just because I like the sound of it. Yeah. yeah. It is a normal quarter staff, I believe. It doesn't give yeah, you. It's, just, it's a pretty but... quarter staff rather than. Yeah. Yeah. And it's very Decor light, so it's only one pound. Yeah. Cool. cool. <laughs> Does that mother know thou weakest her drapes? Where is her drapes? <laughs> Where is her drapes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, no. What right. are the other bits in the room? Sorry. So, uh... Uh, there's spears, long swords, morning stars, great swords. What do morning arrows? stars do? Any arrows? The morning stars are a bit like maces, but spiky. Yeah, it's like mm -hmm. mason yeah. chain thing. Yeah. Might take one of us. <laughs> Just take one of us. <laughs> <laughs> I am a thief anyway, so you know. <laughs> one of everything. Any arrows? For the yeah, bird? any arrows. <laughs> Arrows, give for an arrow for your rogue. No arrows this time. <laughs> Toss an arrow to your rogue. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, except one did have a long bow. So there's uh, five arrows. Because hey. one. Can you use long bow arrows in a crossbow? In a short bow, rather? Probably. Uh, you a crossbow. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah, you can't use it in a crossbow, but you can use it in a long bow, right. I think. Well, at least that's what I'm saying. So <laughs> that's the rule. <laughs> that's the rules I just made. Well, up. I, I could just take the long bow as well, <laughs> although I'm not proficient with it. I don't know if anyone else is. Okay, okay. I just said, sounds like you need um... a golf caddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am actually proficient with a long bow. Oh, you can have the long bow. I'll have the long bow. You okay. need any no. arrows, so. I will need the arrows, but you can I'm... have the three arrows. <laughs> There's five arrows, and I was gonna you can say have three arrows. arrows. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. So you're being kind and giving me three arrows for my bow, right? Okay. <laughs> arrows. Yeah, right. have cool. the have the five. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Thank cool. You. I don't think you're exactly so... hurting for arrows right now, are you? Not with no. I'm not gonna admit how many I have now. <laughs> but you did help me find some earlier. So this is true. Oh yeah. The, that Neverwinter uh, longsword belongs to Sildar, oh. along with the chainmail. Oh, okay. I'll take it back to you recognise it as his. It's Sildar stuff. Yeah. So the chainmail is probably a bit better than bloodied, so he probably doesn't want the chainmail, but the sword would be really nice. Sword back to him. Yeah. Yeah. Chainmail's yeah. probably got bad memories associated yeah. with it. Like... Yeah. Cool. Could we, uh, could we? Could we? Could we? I mean, I could clean it with Prestidigitation, digitation, and maybe we could reconsecrate it for him on the altar that we're about to reconsecrate it. What, what the chainmail? Yeah, I don't know. Is that a thing? Don't know. Make it nice again. You might want his armor back. Yeah. Might, might be want to clean it, back. especially if it's now nice it. and clean. Hmm. And you know, so uh, you, you could try that. Yeah. We'll clean his armor. Okay. Yeah. okay. digitate. Cool. It is now clean, it is now oh. clean Jamie. <laughs> oh. Cool. So there's now uh, a door to up here and a door down here. Uh, okay. I say let's go through the closest there. door. That's chances are we're going to find more goblins in there because that's part of the outer wall again. Hmm. Good point. So which way again? So I, think, I think we're going north. I think we should go to this one. one. I this think one. there's going to cool. be goblins there. Well, yeah. Meat shields. Well, since Ali's a bit hurt, I will go first this time. <laughs> well, would this be a good time to heal Ali? Well, I suppose I could. Yeah, do you want me to cast 
plus. Yeah, if you have an extra, it will use uh, up my remaining spell slot. But um, um I, I mean, I can just do second wind on my on my turn as soon as we get an initiative. So, well, you could do it now. You don't have to wait until in battle to use second wind. Uh, oh, you don't. Yeah, I think you can use it outside. I it's think. a bonus action. Yeah, yeah, that you can still use those things okay. outside of battle. Yeah. All right. I will uh, do that then. So okay. be... I will save the remaining spell slot in case I need to cure someone in the heat of battle. Then. I also have Channel Divinity, which will allow me to turn on dead mm. or heal people almost dead. Mm. Nice. But it only takes people up to half their help hit points. It doesn't. Mm. So it can okay. save someone in a pinch. All right. I'm I'm only four down from full, so I'm, cool. I'm good to go. I'll still nice. go first if you want. I'll take a turn going first. I'm going to open the door, ready to a fight. Okay, you open the door immediately. Let me go to the part. Go on, go and lie um, down. Mommy's about to go into battle. <laughs> Shockingly, as you open the door, there's three goblins in there. Oh, more goblins. Great. Uh, At least they're goblins and not oh, it's goblins. Like a shrine. In the very center, there's the stone altar. And in the, covered by a bloodstained black cloth. <gasps> golden oh. rituals and there's golden rituals, a chalice, a knife, okay. and a censer are carefully yeah. arranged on top of the arrow on, on top of the altar. And two archways to the south are covered in heavy curtains. Mm. Right. Curtains. I'm gonna go back. I think we found the shrine finally. <laughs> um, the time is upon us. I'm going to step forward to break the shrine and swing with my warhammer. The goblins are still praying in front of it, so yeah. you have disadvantage. I'm just going to smack you... the nearest one with a warhammer. So you've got advantage on advantage. the attack. 22. 22. Nice. That hits that goblin. Yep. Awesome. So that does. Where's my D8? That does seven damage. Nice. <laughs> That takes the goblin that was just kneeling in front of his altar to death. Uh, <laughs> to, <laughs> takes him the to brain his god. Did not work. Yeah. <laughs> no. The other Time ones to get meet up. Your god. The other this ones is get what up. happens to people who defile altars. Yep. The others get up and roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going last. Oh, oh my wow. gosh. I'm clearly done. Natural 20. Da, 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 da. Don't touch this. The fight you've been waiting for. <laughs> yeah. Um, cool. Uh, Kalima, you're going first. You have discovered the altar you've been wanting to consecrate. Yes, I have. And I think I need to actually get in the room in order to have line of sight on anyone, don't I? Uh, yes. Yes. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to attack this guy because he is closest. And frankly, my rage knows no bounds right now. <laughs> he is so... the, uh, he is slightly better. He's, they both got all three had filthy robes on, but he has a slightly smarter, filthy robe. So right. he's the leader of this he, little set. So he's the leader and absolutely lead deserves my ire. Yep. Right, oh, okay. Leader, leader, leader. <laughs> 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 right, okay. Um, I'm going, does piercing damage work on these guys? Yeah, yeah. it's just a yeah. damage type, that's fine. It won't do okay. any extra damage, but Brilliant. yeah, it will. Right, okay. I'm actually going to pull out my funky longsword, which I guess I have to be right here to use. Mm. Yes. And I am going to attempt to stab him with it, and I believe I have inspiration, so I'm going to yes. attack him with inspiration. 16. 16 does hit a goblin. Yeah. Awesome. And it's 1d8 plus 3. Yeah. It's a good thing because 14 wouldn't have if you right. hadn't used this fresh. Um, plus three. 11. Oh, nice. that's nice. Wow. Nice. But as he's the leader, he is slightly uh, stronger than the others, so he's still standing. But he's oh. hurting. By right? one, but he is still standing. Wow. But he's hurting, right? He's in pain. He is, he is very much in pain. You don't want Good. this to be a slow death, I assume. 
Well, you know, I'm, I'm really torn right now. I really want, <laughs> I really want to cleanse the, the shrine of the un unspeakable vermin who've defiled it. But on the other hand, he really deserves a slow <laughs> death. Um, I'll, take, I'll take, like, a not massively speedy death. You know, I'm willing to compromise on this. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm a reasonable person. I can compromise. So, yeah. It's all good. As long as he's nearly dead right now, I'm, I'm yeah. actually reasonably happy right now. Yeah. He is going to try to... Uh, is, does he get extra things? One second. Um, is it his turn? It is now his turn. Of course it is, and I'm standing right so, next to him. He's yeah. going to try to slash back and hit with a 15. A 15 does oh. hit. However, um, don't I have a shield spell with my magic? Yes, you do. Yes. And As a reaction. Believe, and that gives me a plus one something. It, on it gives you a plus five to your armor class temporarily. A, oh, right. I thought it gave me a plus one bonus to my armor class. She's got a huge five. sass. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if I'm, if it gives me a, a plus. A set, okay, sorry. So, so what? How much plusing is this giving me? I believe now you temporarily you've got twenty armor class. <laughs> right. So it does not hit. <laughs> no, it does not. He swings at you, and as you say it, uh, as you slam your glass staff down it creates a bubble that adds extra shield and it just clangs against the and then i do a little twerking motion again nah, 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 nah. <laughs> that felt <Ali>. good <laughs> you, you've just seen kalima make a shield around her uh, and there's a goblin on the floor well he's standing up now um what would you like to do I think I'm gonna come in over here and whack yeah. that guy. I, I'd say go for that one because the other one's mm -hmm. nearly dead. Seventeen hits. Nice. Sweet. Eight damage. Eight damage, and you. His robes are torn in half, as he is also torn in half. Or cut nice. In half. Nicely done. <laughs> Well I feel like we've walked yeah. in this room and owned it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Not the previous one. I'm just waiting for what's behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Daphne. Right. How far can I move? I want to maybe come to here. Six. Yeah, that's yeah. twenty feet. So. Yeah. And I'm gonna go for the sky. You can shoot over the altar. Yeah. So that gives you disadvantage because it's a, a tall enough altar that he's behind. Uh, so move far. Yeah. If you move there, you're fine. Okay. Result. Good choice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, I'm pretty mad. <laughs> you hit the altar. <laughs> yeah. No, not the altar. Sorry, no, no, it doesn't matter. It's all you have to do is hit been... stuff that. It's been. Oh, that... At least you get your the... arrow back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the chalice really very far away. The chalice on the altar moves around, wobbles a bit, but uh, and That's topples right. over slightly. If it wobbles a bit, does the goblin mistake it for like a holy present <laughs> and get scared? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. <laughs> it was worth a shot, oh, literally. It was worth it, and the dice said no. <laughs> the dice is so cruel. They are. Right. So and there's only there one is, left. I'm going to come striding left. around here. I'm going to say, well, time to meet your maker. <laughs> Use inspiration and smack him with a warhammer. <laughs> 19. 19 hits. Nice. Oh, he's only got one hit point, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he does yeah, only have I one. I do at least point. three. <laughs> yeah. So he's sli he is sliced. Um, I, I'm not no, I'm smashed. using a warhammer. Yeah. Smashed. I keep forgetting that the warhammer is not a slicey weapon. It's um, a slicey weapon. It's a bludgeoning weapon. weapon. The smashy weapon. Um, he, smoosh. He, I smoosh things. <laughs> it is now smoosh. Yeah, yeah I'm the smoosh. <laughs> 
And once again, you're out of combat. <laughs> Yeah. Come running through the curtains. I but I think say, we should probably we check. check. We need to check it. behind those curtains like now before we start celebrating. The because we we're going to need to really. I'm, I'm going to do a dance on this goblin's course. Perception. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, if looking through the uh, curtain. You notice it is completely pitch black in there. Mm. There is no light coming in whatsoever, so even dark vision will not help. Right, I'm going glow to pick stick. up. I'm going to pick up something off the altar. I don't care what, and I'm going to turn it into a glow stick with lights, and then I'm going to chuck it to Ali <laughs> or pass it to Ali. Yeah. Like, try that. So, are you choosing the chalice, the knife, or the sensor? The sensor. Let's go with the sensor. Cool. Oh God. So it's a smelly light as well. It's a smelly uh. light. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna so, have that alley. Try all right, that. I will. Uh, I will. You could. You could yeah. use it like a main that is. Shot, put it yeah. in to the. <laughs> cool. You look in, and in the middle here. Let me find the description. That's number eight. Uh, it seems that this was part of the chapel or shrine at some point. Angelic, angelic figures are sculpted along the room upper reach uh, along the room's upper reaches looking down on the floor below to the north uh sorry between the archways is a cracked but or ornately carved stone bra brazier not brazier like i've said before <laughs> <laughs> brazier Definitely not a brazier yeah <laughs> uh and that's what you can see with the light. Uh, let me see. Could you roll a perception check, please? Everyone just rolled perception. I oh, did, yeah, and I rolled a really 20... good perception check as well. Yeah. You hear, and uh, let me check the which room this is, number eight. Um, in here with an 18 and a natural 20 you see there's something uh sl uh, there's some i don't know how to describe this thing uh it's a snake-like creature you can hear say, like some an, hissing is it an eldritch horror because no. that covers a lot of bases <laughs> Some you can hear something hissing and slithering yeah. around i believe is what mm. yes. is trying to describe mm -hmm. right. Correct. okay which direction uh, everywhere just near the archway up here uh, let me click the right tool so about there yes okay would it be an idea for us to go out of the door here and go around and open up these other doors to get some more light on the matter you could okay. try that yeah because we haven't i mean okay ali has kind of snuck in but ali might want to sneak back out again and you're slithering and decide to nope out of that. That's what I was thinking, yeah. <laughs> nope. And if we open up these doors, we could maybe get a bit more light on it. Do you want me to grab some other items? I'll grab some of the other items in the storeroom. So, Zephni, oh, that's good. Yeah. you've just I'll gone there, haven't you? As well. Yes, I have. <laughs> um, uh, as as you step onto that area, Oh, a oh, no. Uh, oh no! I'm so sorry. I'm just a dexterity so check, sorry. please. Okay, okay, okay. What was dexterity? Uh, Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Oh, nice. The floor drops from underneath you, but you skillfully jump over the uh, trap and safely manage to get to the other side. Cool. Without taking damage. <laughs> the trap uh, where I'm exactly stood at so one space. Uh, it's okay. roughly there. You can. It's there-ish. Okay. So, the so you can still open that door, okay. but there's a hole there. There's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Stone Brazier's. That's got the shape. <laughs> <laughs> someone pass me a clay stick as well. Right, I was gonna grab like some barrels and boxes and like roll them in, so like mm -hmm. much much bigger items and, and cast light. Cool. On That's a good idea. Cast mm -hmm. multiple instances of light. Those old cantrips. There is a cantrip, yeah. Cool. 
Cool. Oh, so you I, roll. I, I just forgot. I can do prestigious or whatever I can do and do light as well, can't I? Yeah. From my side. So, so yeah, yeah. we can both do lighty things. Can you light the. Um... Uh, apparently, I can only do one object at once. Uh, okay. Yeah, and the mine, only, this... mine only lasts 10 feet. Oh, mine's light... 20 feet plus an additional 20 feet of dim light. Right. Cool. So mine can do the whole room. So I'm going to get like a big barrel and I'm going to roll <laughs> it to the That's center. That's a really good idea. Okay. With that, you can see this creature. Uh, let me put it in the right layer. I believe that's called oh. doing an anurin. I missed what, what, what that was referenced yeah. to. <laughs> oh, that's... A... I don't like the look of that. I don't that like the look hot. of that either. Uh, if you could imagine the, what this is, you can see it's a snake-like creature, but you know in Resident Evil, I think, when the creature opens up like four uh, like tentacle things. Let me see if I can put it up. Oh, uh, that's like a, that. it's a plant yeah. snake. It's a tentacle say, it looks, plant snake. Yeah. With yeah. a beak. Every, uh, <laughs> from overheard conversations because I want to give this context rather than anything else in the dining hall when you listened in earlier uh, of course uh, <laughs> yeah, someone mentioned that there's this thing called a crick which a is crick. lupos which is the lead of the sects uh, sects uh, pet essentially and everyone yeah. is scared of it which is why it stayed in there oh gosh so this is the final Great. guardian of the rights. Yeah, it is still uh, ruining the shrine and stuff because it's not a holy creature. I, I, it's definitely not a holy creature. Right. Can I, try I think that means we're going to have to kill it. It looks very unholy. Yeah. I think we need to kill it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I try and shoot cool. it with an arrow? Do we need to uh, for initiative? Or? It will be initiative based. Because uh, it knows you're there, because you've rolled light into his darkened room. We rolled the light into the room. Is he blinded oh. by the light for a round? <laughs> uh, no, sorry. Uh, <laughs> good good drinking, but sadly no. Uh, uh, I'm rolling really poorly on the mist. <laughs> it is. Oh, it is taken <laughs> you did really poor initiative. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I got a great big fat zero. I'm going to take that as a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the Crick gets to go first. Oh, yay. Oh. And none of us are technically um, in the room. Seth, with me, it. and me yeah. should be the other way around because I just rolled a barrel through. You're also like yeah. in the trap for right now. So. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Just stick me there just because it's easier. Yeah. Let me get it's, the trick. it's about to be me that gets attacked. Let me get the Crick character sheet up. I'm I feeling like feeling. this is good. This is what we saved our spell slots for. This is what we have <laughs> at least one spell mm -hmm. slot each for. Yeah. <laughs> this one we thought we killed the big bad guys at yeah. the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's going to lash out with its uh, tail. Oh. Uh, it's not why it I can say. Uh, well, it's technically a tentacle. Okay. Apparently, it's a tentacle attack. Mm. Oh, I, I'm good at chopping those off. Thurican and I are really good at it. <laughs> yeah, does this <laughs> one react? We have experience with this. Thurican have experience. <laughs> it's, got weird deja vu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it slashes at you with one of its tentacles. Uh, and it rolls a nine that does not hit so does not hit i sidestep this tentacle deja vu helps me see it just a moment before it happens mm. <laughs> should we try holy water kalima i have a holy symbol i don't know if that's gonna it's, work right it's uh i believe it's um blind mostly blind so you won't be able to do right, so much that won't matter. right okay uh, so i'm gonna move really good here. hearing and let's see right i've got two spell slots left 
I think this it's got magic is missile as well. possibly a job for magic missile. Yeah. Yeah. It is the last creature in the castle. So yeah, that's <laughs> throw what I was everything thinking. at it. Use inspiration. So, <laughs> I don't have any. Oh, magic yes, missile. Do. No, you do magic missile automatically hits. Magic missile automatically. Hits. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. It's so three D four um, plus three. Three three D four plus three. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Oh, hang about three D four. Three D four plus yep. three. Nine. Nice. Mm -hmm. Is that force damage, right? Yes. Uh, uh, it's not resistant to that. Thank God for that. <laughs> it it screams as light comes from your fingers and hits him. It hits it, uh, but it's still there, quite happily still there. And lashing uh, out and generally not looking very hit at all, I'm guessing. <laughs> not looking as hit as something it, most today. Yes. It hisses at you. Zephni. Okay, so can I shoot it from where I am? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay. with the light in there, you don't have disadvantage. Does a 19 mm -hmm. hit? A 19 does hit. Yay. It's piercing damage. Yeah, unfortunately, there's nothing there for the sneak attack. So. For damage. Cool. It, as the arrow flies through the air, it damages it, but it doesn't penetrate the scales. So okay. it doesn't quite do as much damage as you think it should. Oh, well, boo. <laughs> it's resistant to some things. That was the piercing damage. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely resistant so to piercing. So it's not it's resistant got... to force damage, but it is resistant to no. piercing. Yeah. Yeah, and I assume the bow is not magical. No. So, yeah, Ali. All right. Well, I'm definitely not going to try the piercing crossbow in that case. <laughs> so I'm going to take a little step up here and uh, go to my trusty great axe. Seventeen. That does hit. Yay. All right. And seven. Uh -huh. It hisses at you, and you feel that it's a slashing damage, this one, doesn't it? Yes. And it's not a magical weapon? No. I'm sensing a theme so, here. It's not a magical weapon. We need so to use you magic. Feel, you feel it hits the scales. It does do damage. Like, it knocks a few scales off, but doesn't quite do as much as normal. Uh, right. Amber, your initiative is now <laughs> gone to the top of yeah. the round. Does anyone mind if I use my last spell shot slot, bearing in mind that I would then only have channel divinity to heal people with? That's yes, fine. I've, I've got, got a healing, healing patient. I've got Great. a healing potion. I've got so. In that case, mm -hmm. I'm going to cast Gate Guiding Bolt again, but I'm going to do it with advantage. <laughs> Inspiration. <laughs> I get a natural and 20. 20. Nice. That definitely hits. Great. Um... It does 46 radiant damage. So does that mean 46. it does 86 radiant damage because I just got a natural 20? Yes. Great. I'm going to roll 86s. <laughs> <laughs> this may take a while. 8d6. Um, and the if you roll all ones, it would survive. <laughs> the LB has oh. said in the chat and to get out the Lovely. magic sword, Kalima. Yeah, okay. I... That that is that is in the plan, believe me. I got twenty seven. Twenty seven. <laughs> that <laughs> would be his full health. <laughs> it I could is... have killed it. <laughs> <laughs> With a yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you got inspiration for that. Awesome. I get to keep my inspiration. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, that was a good last that spell. That was literally powerful. the last spell I had. <laughs> that was awesome. Well done. So did I give it's you? It's also the now shiny because it was it was radiant damage. <laughs> so I've now made it shiny. <laughs> so you can see the corpse of this crick shining in the darkness. Yeah. 
Nice. Beautiful. So, right. I am really pleased with that. I think that's one of Amber's mm. most epic moments. That's yeah. absolutely oh, for sure. That is on a par yeah. with me slaughtering four skeletons with one word. Yeah. I mean, that's bloody brilliant. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. So, did that give you the experience for the three goblins in the shrine? No. Uh, no. no. So, a total of 600 XP cool. uh, between the, to clear this area. So that's 150, 150 each. Takes everyone to 2,000. Yeah. Yay. Awesome. Uh, and and what else? anything else for the crook? Or just cool. Uh, it was 150 for the thing and 450 for the thing, so 600 total. Right, okay. Um, and uh, to, does anyone want to do a perception check now that you've cleared? The... Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to use. just said, Hazar Amber, Hazar Stella. <laughs> Hazar shiny. Yeah. <laughs> Hazar shiny. <clears throat> Let there be light. Cool. cool. <laughs> so Ali, so as you look around in this room, the stone brazier contains some coal, but buried underneath it, there's a gold statue at of a sun elf worth a hundred gold pieces wrapped Ooh. in crimson cloth. Ooh. Mm. You guess that the goblin hid the figurine here as uh, to keep it away from other goblins. Hmm. But I think you probably killed Fred the uh, <laughs> second. <laughs> Before he could tell us that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, I, I used it, I used I did use inspiration when I rolled perception. Yeah. So I actually got 21. Oh, I'm, nice. I'm too busy just kind of dancing on a corpse <laughs> to really pay any attention to anything else right now. Dancing <laughs> on a I'm, corpse. I'm watching the gold with interest. <laughs> so are we dividing that up into 25 a piece? Yeah. 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 And I've got the curtain open. So if I can be perceiving both rooms at once, that would be great. As long as <laughs> cool. the statue doesn't have any relevance to yeah. the shrine or anything. Yeah. The uh you realize with a 21 that uh the deities there were several deities that was were, that were once revered here ogma the god of knowledge mistra the goddess of magic latheranda god of dawn and timura goddess of luck so that makes it really obvious that the builders of the scarfs were human when they built so rather the goblins just took it over when it was broken down and we've liberated Which, right. it and you have reclaiming liberated. things for the humans yeah <laughs> uh, and you want to reconsecrate uh, yes. and in the other room you the chalice the knife and the sensor are worth 150 60 and 120 gold pieces 100 230 that's, that's 330 can we, can we yeah. like, is it divisible that's that's all, no or, no 32 that no. is uh, yes, seventy-five plus eight. Yeah. It's eighty-three it's 80. each. It is yes. three gold pieces each. Eighty-three each. Uh, hundred. Oh god, I've only got two hundred eighty-three. Hang on a minute. Two eighty-three. You plus haven't 83. added. You haven't added the twenty-five yet, then. Yeah, I have. Oh, okay. Three sixty-six. Mm -hmm. Right. I can't do that. Lots kind of, of gold. Yeah. Neither can I. Oh, I'll adjust to it. <laughs> glod, 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 glod. Uh, uh, so how do we reconsecrate this shrine? Or are we not there yet? Uh, well, you I can do it, I think. spend you... time doing it during a long rest yeah. kind of thing. Right, yeah. okay. You, have, you are now certain that this castle has been cleared of all unholy creatures. Um, so you yeah cool and so i'm gonna i'm gonna move over and stand in front of the the altar with amber and um and i'm gonna suggest little... that zephany and ali might want to keep a lookout in the barracks for approaching yeah. people while we well i'll help um kalima reconsecrate the altar i'll uh i'll go back over here. I'll take the long way around, though. 
I reckon Ali would be looking out for anything she could turn into a crown for mm. coronation. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll, oh, and we'll also I'll go stay tell over here about it. that the coast is now clear. Yeah. <laughs> still holds I'll, I'll go let him out and then, and then hang out yeah. and, and watch this other yeah, Because remember we... that the password's spoon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he does turn around. Spoon! Like, I, st I still don't understand why a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> it's a password. It's not meant to be logical. Say... It's logical. Someone could guess it. You want people guessing a password? I got attacked with a spoon earlier, so I'm really <laughs> sensitive to them right now. <laughs> <laughs> is it about triggering? Is it triggering for you, Queen Ali? A little bit. No, the spoons yeah. are going to be banned in the castle now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you're reconcentrating, um, that just happens. Like you don't need to roll; it just takes some time. Cool. Uh, Gundren asks, would you take me back to Fandlin and then I can talk to you more about this Wave Echo Cave map that I found? Yeah, that's maybe, a good idea. And maybe you can help me find where these, where my brothers went. They went ahead of me. Um, <laughs> good, Sarah yeah. was here. <laughs> 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 uh, so, that is Crackmore Castle. Hello, Spinning Blades. Washington State. Hi. Well, Hi. Hi. Oh. oh, and thanks for the follow. We oh, just awesome. finished slaughtering things. We did yeah, just finish yeah. clearing out Crackmore Castle. And it's probably the end of... I was going to say, and well-timed, actually. So. Yeah. Are we going to yeah. take a long rest? I think we probably did that while we were concentrating think... the altar. Yeah. Altar. Yeah. altar. And altar. you can uh, probably make your way back to... We need to take uh, Sildar's sword back to Sildar. Yeah. Yes, we do want to collect his stuff from the... Did we offer us money for doing this? Did we offer us money for this? Somebody uh, offered us money for this. I feel this. like someone should offer Trope us money. <laughs> 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 so I will... gonna get if paid. anyone knows what's good for them, then offer us money for this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, were there any books in the castle? Was there a you know, I was just thinking, I'd actually forgotten the last bit about my, my quest for books, because frankly, I was just so angry that um did I we find about, any books at all did we find any but i don't think we found a single book in this building they may have used it on tinder can you start a castle a castle a library in this castle yeah. Yes. yeah i think the room where we where we fought the nasty snake plant thing would make a very nice library <laughs> yeah. actually there's not a lot of light in there so maybe, no. maybe that's not a good one maybe the owl well, bear. actually the owl bear light, turret uh, yeah, yeah that would really that'd be great library yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually like good for books. light yeah. isn't good for books so, like, arrows like, slips aren't exactly either. Yeah. They're not exactly a lot of light. So, and also, it wouldn't really necessarily be great to put them in the shrine, which is kind no. of what that chapel yeah. is. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It put them in the owl bear. Yep. Right. Fluffy's awesome. going to start building some shelves. <laughs> okay, we are literally refresh. claiming this castle, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so back to full health. Yeah, we're doing yeah, yeah, rest. Rest. Be, yeah, everyone's got everything back. So I mean, you should get um, Droop the second with our walls. I'm yes. ask Droop if he'll be the caretaker of the library. <laughs> Droop uh, the second, the goblin, is going to be our librarian. Yes. And the walls and are going to guard our castle. Yes, I, I think that this is a perfect plan. I, I as the, the queen of this castle, approve of this course of action. Awesome. And, and uh, Spinning Blade has yeah. asked what part of the I, I will even... from. But we're not all from the UK. No. Three of us are from the Southwest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't I know, you know exactly elsewhere. where you are, Anne Marie. You're near Nottingham, aren't you? Not too far from Nottingham. I'm basically halfway up on the right hand side. Okay. Just above mm -hmm. the bulgy bit. It's <laughs> <laughs> really nice and specific. The people who know about these things, it's called Lincolnshire, but yeah. um <laughs> since that, that group did not include me before I moved here, it's halfway up on the right hand side just above the bulgy bit. Yeah. <laughs> and I am currently in Central California. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. Sorry, this slight distraction. What were we doing? Yeah. Going back to now was declaring something. Oh. Yes, I was just I was saying that I uh, I'd be happy to uh, pay a an ongoing uh, salary to to Droop the Second if he would um, be 
be a a caretaker for this with his wolves. There's a whole lot of um, stuff to take care of there. Look at all the mess. I yeah. know. Oh, I'm gonna I think we're going to have wolf. to come back and clear it up a bit. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty much like just keep squatters from taking yeah. it over right now. It's it's not so much a, like, fix it up for me, just, like, make it... It's more, it's more like general further destroyed. security. Yeah. 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 Well, right. there are currently some unemployed red brands that no longer have a leader uh, hanging yeah. around town because they're mostly the teenagers that just joined up because they had nothing to do. Right. So... Can I, I could stuff. become the leader. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, Sasha should be their leader as a former right. red friend. And right. she can hire them out to Ali. Yeah. Yeah. To help fix All right. Sasha right. gets paid first and then <laughs> <laughs> Negotiations oh, will have to be had. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That is our you plan, can totally though. trust the criminals to take care of your castles. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's not really. I mean, let's face it. We've looted every inch of it. There's nothing of value yeah, there to take, and you know yeah. that. So mm -hmm. you're probably a pretty good choice, actually. We're just gonna <laughs> set up an illicit potion lab or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be telling. <laughs> awesome. Oh. Yeah, let's head back to Vandalin then. <laughs> Go. Cool. And then uh, take a long rest in the tavern or something? Or have we just done a long rest? I think we did a long rest here because we needed yeah. to consecrate the thing. So we did a long rest while we were. Cool. Yeah. So you're back in Fandolin and you've gone. Mm -hmm. I we'll will take the find sword out. back to Sildar and we'll yeah. take Gundren to the inn so he can rest. And yeah. I'll, f I'll remember what rewards were promised for clearing Crackmore Castle. Uh, before the next session, <laughs> 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 so we can get paid, yeah, yeah, um, because I do not have a good memory for what was promised when, uh, <laughs> neither do Never I, mind. to be honest. So I'll have to re watch things on YouTube because <laughs> <laughs> yes. I believe this is episode six. I have no idea, yeah. I've lost track, completely I've lost, yeah. track, lost, track. Well. I lost track a while ago, yeah, yeah. It's episodes five or six. I it's, it's more than it five because we've done at least two at each of yeah. the things we've cleared out. So it's at least six. Right. Cool. Could be seven, but it's probably cool. six. Yeah. yeah. So if you want to find out more about the YouTube, it's there. That's our YouTube channel. That I've is, just that's got all our chat. old episodes on. So if anyone wants to catch up, rewatch anything, you can do it on. It says six in the description. It probably is six. Yeah. Thank you, the LBs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that was my guess before the description. <laughs> okay. Our Story Skies group is back in two weeks on the Monday. Um, but we are back as a network on Wednesday with our Pyramid group, which is my homebrew dungeon. Kill Mega dungeon? Kill everything yeah. dungeon, yeah. <laughs> um, and we have Bear in that one playing Felicia the Tiefling Cleric. We have um, Poseworth, uh, Brian, um, playing a Neuron the Bard. We have KRM, or Kate as, oh, what's that character's name? Alav, mm -hmm. the Ranger. Um, and we have David as Valdry, the Artificer. Have I got that right? Yes. Right. Yeah. That's everyone. Who keeps drawing Wednesday. things. He keeps drawing things rather than fighting. In the middle of battle, he just pulls out his notebook and starts drawing and he's not seen. It is absolutely hilarious. Um, and Ghana, Andrew is playing Ghana the Barbarian. So it's a five party, five person. Yeah, thank you, the LBs. I hadn't quite, <laughs> I hadn't forgotten Ghana. I just haven't got there yet. Um, yeah, and they are, and I will be GMing. Yes. Trying to kill everyone. Trying to kill everyone. I really, really enjoy the pyramid streams. Um, there's also, I have a bit of a surprise for everyone. Ooh. It will definitely happen on Wednesday stream. So. Yeah. As long as we don't move too slowly. <laughs> you can't move, you yeah, can't move slow enough surprise. to avoid this now. <laughs> is that a challenge? No. <laughs> no, it very much isn't. No. Cool. Cool. And I think that's it for this evening. It is. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, uh, everybody. Um, thank you. Follow if you're not. Thank you. thank you for everyone who followed and for the subscriptions and bits. And we will see you all in a couple of days. Yes. Bye. Bye. Bye.